Chapter 961 Fury soars into the heavens translator, born to be looking at Lu Minghan's icy expression. Long Chen instantly understood what was going on. What? Are you in such a hurry? Soft tactics don't work. So you're trying some hard ones? To trick me by pretending to be the sect master. Are you trying to interrogate me? Said Long Chen. Lu Minghan coldly said. Long Chen. You are a disciple of the Zhuangshan Dao sect. It was the Zhuangshan Dao sect that raised you. If you don't even know how to repay kindness, how are you any different from an animal? Long Chen sneered. Don't put it so sanctimoniously. All you want is my Yuan spirit stones. Well, let me tell you the truth. I don't have any Yuan spirit stones. Do you think I'm so easy to fool? Snorted Lu Minghan. Whether you believe it or not, I don't care. Furthermore, what's mine is mine. Don't use the name of ethics to extort me. Who do you think you are? If I owe the Zhuangshan Dao sect, then the ones I owe are Ling Yunzi, Shu Wuhan, and Ou Yun Qiu As for you, you only came here to get some benefits. Are you looking to raise your merit to the sect to get promoted? Not a bad plan, said Long Chen disdainfully. Long Chen, I'm only going to ask once again. We aren't greedy for your Yuan spirit stones. We are doing this entirely for your own good. If you hand over your Yuan spirit stones, the sect will help protect them for you. That way, you don't need to worry about others getting greedy for your treasures, said Lu Minghan. Thank you for your care, but I think you're worrying over nothing. I don't have any treasures, so there's no need to worry over my safety, said Long Chen indifferently. Brood, you're looking to die, raged Lu Minghan. You're the one looking to die, you old bastard. Long Chen had long since realized that this fellow wasn't a good person. So he cursed right back. Right now, he couldn't expose the fact that he had more Yuan spirit stones. This wasn't just a problem of Yuan spirit stones. The divine mortal molting elixir and 10,000 spirit blood were also absolute treasures. He was sure that the dragon blood legion's display, which had relied on these treasures, had been noticed by these wily old foxes. Long Chen had hundreds of millions of Yuan spirit stones in his primal chaos space right now. That was the result of all the immemorial paths aboriginals sending their Yuan spirit stones to him. But he couldn't hand over a single one. The Yuan spirit stones would just be a start. Once he started handing them over, he would be doomed. Through that, they would force him to hand over the divine mortal molting elixir, 10,000 spirit blood, and perhaps even the heavenly day of fruits. So even if he died, he couldn't hand them over. One concession would lead to a total collapse. He had already declared his position with Ouyang Kiyuayu. He wouldn't hand them anything. He trusted Ouyang Kiyuayu as she would definitely protect his secret. As for Shu Wuhan, there was no need to say anything about that. No one would be able to get the slightest bit of valuable information out of her about Long Chen. So all he had to do was stubbornly repeat that he had none and refused to give them anything. Brat, Lu Minghan suddenly sent a palm toward him. Long Chen smashed a fist forward, summoning the Green Dragon Battle Armor. He had to go all out against a king. HMPH, don't overestimate yourself, sneered Lu Minghan. When Long Chen's fist smashed onto Lu Minghan's palm, there should have been a huge explosion. Their power should have blown apart the palace and drawn over all the Zhuangshan Dao sect's attention. Then he would be safe. But Long Chen was startled to find that it was like his fist had struck cotton. It only caused a muffled sound. His power vanished like it had never existed, and his hand was caught. A terrifying energy instantly confined him. It was like millions of steel bars had constricted him, making it so he couldn't move an inch. In front of a true king, you are just an ant. You want to resist? Keep dreaming. Since you don't appreciate kindness, I'll personally go through your memories. Lu Minghan placed a finger on Long Chen's forehead. Spiritual strength poured into his mind. See, Long Chen was startled and enraged. If this bastard were to go through his memories, then the Nine Star Hegemon body art. Primal Chaos Bead, and Eastern Wasteland Bell would all be exposed. He hastily circulated his spiritual strength to defend. HMPH, your spiritual strength is not bad, but it's still not even close to enough. Break, Lu Minghan snorted, and vicious spiritual strength smashed against Long Chen's mind. See, blood poured out of Long Chen's orifices. Lu Minghan's berserk spiritual strength was too strong. A king's spiritual strength wasn't something he could resist. Lu Minghan. What do you think you're doing? Just as Long Chen's defenses were about to completely collapse and his memories were about to be exposed, the door to the room was blown apart. Li Changfeng furiously charged in. Senior brother, this Long Chen refuses to recognize kindness. I'm forcing him to tell us his secrets. 
Lu Minghan ignored Li Changfeng's arrival, continuing to bring forth more of his soul energy to break Long Chen's final barrier. Lu Minghan, if you don't stop, don't blame me for not caring about our relationship. Li Changfeng's face was ashen. His hand was gripping the sword on his back, and a fierce aura locked onto Lu Minghan. Senior brother, you. The sound of a sword coming out of its sheath rang out. Li Changfeng's expression was firm. An unwilling expression appeared on Lu Minghan's face, but he was extremely intimidated by Li Changfeng. He released Long Chen. Pow! Lu Minghan had just released Long Chen when Long Chen's hand viciously struck across his face. Lu Minghan hadn't expected Long Chen to dare to strike him, and as a result, half his face caved in, and a bunch of yellow teeth scattered to the ground. Lu Minghan, fuck your mother. Long Chen was completely infuriated. After slapping him, Blood Drinker appeared in his hand. Split the heavens three. Even Li Changfeng hadn't expected Long Chen to suddenly attack, and he was using such a powerful move at that. Lu Minghan didn't have a powerful physical body. Imbued by the Green Dragon battle armor, Long Chen's slap had almost caused his head to explode. By the time he reacted, Long Chen's Saber Key had reached him. It was too late to form hand seals, and the only thing he could do was to use the simplest defense, circulating his spiritual yuan to form a barrier around him. This hasty defense was made by a king, but it was still cut through by Long Chen's attack. Lu Minghan vomited blood, flying back. He slammed into a pillar in the palace, causing the whole palace to crumble. Dust flew everywhere, and the Zhuanchen Dao sect shook. All of the disciples rushed over in surprise, just barely managing to see the scene of the Zhuanchen Dao sect's palace crumble to the ground. Heavens, isn't that the king? Lu Minghan, as the palace collapsed, a figure flew out of it, a deep cut on the front of his body. He had almost been cut in two. Everyone was horrified. What person was terrifying enough to heavily injure a king? Lu Minghan, you rat bastard, die. Suddenly, the crumbling palace exploded. Long Chen charged out at Lu Minghan. Kill Lu Minghan, cut him down. The Dragonblood warriors had no idea what was happening, but seeing Long Chen so enraged, they all charged at Lu Minghan. Novaloon.com Il Yang Qiuayu and Shu Wuhan also appeared, but they were lost, because Lu Minghan had just sent them a message that he had something to discuss with them. They had been patiently waiting for him this entire time, but even after an hour, he hadn't appeared. When they sensed Long Chen's aura when he destroyed the palace, they finally realized something was very off, and they rushed over just in time to see this scene. The Dragonblood warriors were charging at Lu Minghan. Wild was the first to arrive. Using the Barbarian Blood Bronze body, he came smashing down with a huge bone club. Fuck off. Lu Minghan was infuriated at being injured by Long Chen. That attack had been strange. It contained a special energy within it or it wouldn't have been able to break his defense. Seeing Wild arriving, he let out a single punch. Wild was blown back, vomiting blood. A king's power was truly terrifying, but Wild was also extremely powerful, and Lu Minghan received a backlash. His just-fused injury once more split open, causing blood to splash. Tang Wan'er, Guo Ran, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, Li Qi, and Yu Zifeng's attacks all arrived. They didn't care what was happening. As long as Lu Minghan was an enemy of Long Chen's, they would fight to the death against him. Ants, all of you can die, roared Lu Minghan. His body began to shine. Yellow springs devour souls. Just as Lu Minghan was about to counterattack, a huge spiritual blade slashed down. Lu Minghan felt like countless needles had stabbed his soul. Boom. Gu Yang and the others' attacks landed on Lu Minghan's body, but they were startled to find that their attacks were unable to break the defensive light around his body. Just at this moment, a blood-colored saber viciously slashed through Lu Minghan's neck. Blood spurted into the air along with the head. All the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples were like wooden statues. They hadn't even understood what was happening before Long Chen cut off a king's head. After cutting Lu Minghan's head, he extended a hand, launching a lightning arrow at it, wanting to completely kill him. Zhu in heaven and earth seal. Li Changfeng finally took action. Countless chains appeared throughout heaven and earth. Everyone was bound by them, including Lu Minghan's headless body. Lu Minghan's head flew back to his neck through some unknown means, and he instantly healed. Li Changfeng, release me. I'll kill all these damnable brats, roared Lu Minghan. Chapter 962 Suppression Translator Born to be Lu Minghan had just attached his head before he began to roar furiously, killing intent sword out of his body. A Grand King had been injured by a group of sea expansion disciples, and even had his head cut off. That was an unbearable insult. Lu Minghan, calm down, shouted Li Changfeng. Shut up. 
How am I supposed to calm down? I'll kill that bastard Long Chen. Break. Lu Minghan roared furiously. Majestic energy suddenly erupted from within his body, causing heaven and earth to shake. Have you gone insane? You want to obliterate the entire Zhuanchen Dao sect, shouted Li Changfeng. Lu Minghan was using his core energy. The core energy of a king would destroy the Zhuanchen Dao sect shut the hell up. Release me from these nuisance chains now, or I'll do anything I want, roared Lu Minghan. Lu Minghan and Li Changfen were both from the head sect, but they were from two different departments. Li Changfen was part of the elders hall, while Lu Minghan was part of the law enforcement hall. When it came to official titles, Li Changfen's position was a level higher than Lu Minghan's, but because Lu Minghan came from the law enforcement hall, his position was rather special. The law enforcement hall's elders all had the power to punish disciples and elders. An insufferable culture had begun brewing there, and their way of speaking to others was loathsome. But because of their special power, the other elders had to endure it, which only stoked the flames of their arrogance. Although this mission was being led by Li Changfang, Lu Minghan didn't respect him much. In his fury, he didn't care anymore. Fury brought more fury. Li Changfang finally stopped restraining himself. He originally didn't like the people from the law enforcement hall, especially not when they acted like this. Be suppressed. Li Changfeng's expression was dark as he formed new hand seals. The chains binding Long Chen and the others released and bound Lu Minghan. Chain after chain rapidly whirled around Lu Minghan. He was tightly bound into a ball. Li Changfeng, you dare to suppress me. I bound by these chains. He found his power suppressed, and he was unable to release any of his techniques. His furious roar was cut off suddenly as the chains began to move even faster. Even his head was bound, until he eventually became a chain cocoon. Li Changfen was ashen. Lu Minghan was completely unreasonable. With a wave of his hand, the ball of chains that was Lu Minghan disappeared. Long Chen, come with me. Long Chen and the others hadn't even reacted to what was happening when Li Changfen extended a hand, not allowing Long Chen to resist. The two of them disappeared. Long Chen was shocked. Although they were both kings, Li Changfen was much stronger than Lu Minghan. He didn't have the slightest ability to resist him. He finally understood just how far he was from a king. The two of them appeared on a mountain that was tens of thousands of miles from the Zhuanchen Dao sect. He didn't know what technique Li Changfen had used to bring him here. This trip to the eastern wasteland was handled poorly, sighed Li Changfen. Senior, Long Chen didn't know what to say. Li Changfen waved his hand, saying, This matter isn't your fault. Of course, it can't be blamed on me either. Ugh, I'll have to go back and report on this mission now. However, before I go, let me warn you, Long Chen, being too stubborn will make you lose more. Whether you want to view me as an elder or just an old senior, it doesn't matter. After all, you are one of my Dao sect's disciples. I don't want to see your temper provoke a calamity. Although you had people come to support you this time, luck isn't dependable. You shouldn't always depend on such an ephemeral thing. Li Changfen was giving him his heartfelt advice. He felt pity for him, but his temper also gave him a headache. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He knew Li Changfen was being kind, but what other way was there? Whether he was low-key or wildly arrogant, he seemed doomed to have a bumpy life full of frustrations. Since the results either way were the same, why not do as he pleased? Why always concede and compromise? It was one thing if yielding would make him safe then he would yield. After all, he had people he cared about. But yielding didn't make things safer. It just made things worse. More people would think he was easy to bully, not hesitating to trample over him. So why yield then? I'll remember Senior's golden words of wisdom. Long Chen bowed slightly. Long Chen wasn't actually someone who didn't know how to repay kindness. He knew exactly who had been good to him. As for your secrets, I'm not interested in them, and the Dao sect isn't interested in them. But you have to remember, when five fingers extend, they aren't all united. In a sect with as many people as the Zhuanchen Dao sect, it's difficult to avoid some people who have wicked thoughts. So be careful in the future. Always try to leave some thoughts for the consequences instead of just losing your mind in a fit of rage, said Li Changfeng. Yes, Long Chen could only nod. Having completed the fourth star of the nine-star hegemon body art, his senses were only growing stronger. He was extremely sensitive to feelings of kindness or wickedness. No one could trick him. So from the start, Long Chen had known that Lu Minghan wasn't a good person. The only thing in his heart was greed. And so he wasn't courteous to him at all. There's still half a year until the branch sect's elites can gather for the head sect's disciple selection. 
Once you pass, you'll be able to cultivate in the head sect the central plains as the true place for heavenly geniuses to cultivate. As for the eastern wasteland, you'll understand how insignificant it is in the future. All right, people really do talk more as they get older. I have to return to the head sect to report on this matter. If there's anything you don't understand, you can go ask your sect master. Li Changfeng's figure suddenly vanished from Long Chen's sight. Long Chen didn't even know what direction he had gone. The Central Plains. Long Chen was a bit apprehensive and excited. He had long since heard that the Central Plains was a holy land for cultivation. Geniuses covered the land, and no matter how talented you were, you would be drowned by countless other geniuses. He also knew that the Skywood Divine Palace was in the Central Plains. In other words, only by going to the Central Plains could he see Chu Yao again. Thinking of Chu Yao, of their interactions in Phoenix Cry, a fire lit up in Long Chen's heart, as well as some grief. Chu Yao was a peaceful girl who didn't like fighting. She was easily satisfied. But to protect Long Chen, to make herself stronger, she had left the eastern wasteland and had gone to the incredibly distant Central Plains. All of that had been for him. However, Long Chen felt uneasy. His origins were a mystery, one that had been perplexing him for a long time. Instead of feeling like he was getting closer to the answer, as his cultivation base grew, all he felt was that this world grew vaster with him. Before he reached the peak of the martial path, he was not to investigate his origins. That was what that unknown servant had said before disappearing. Back then, Long Chen had thought that the servant should have been a Xi'anchen expert. But back then, he hadn't understood what a Dao transformation was. But now he knew. Only Celestials possessed the qualifications to do so and they had to have at least reached the fourth rank. Transforming into the Dao required the assistance of spirit blood. The servant had turned himself into nothingness and severed all karma related to him, all to protect Long Chen. He shook his head, forcing out those unsteady thoughts. No matter how strong his enemies were, no matter how terrifying they were, there was no need to have so many misjivings since he had made his choice. Furthermore, once he went to the Central Plains, he wouldn't be alone. Chu Yao was there and he had also sensed Ye's Hikyu's aura in the immemorial path. He was sure she would also go to the Central Plains. In fact, perhaps she was already there. Other than that, he thought of a certain person who liked to laugh and show off. That person's face was still a bit immature and baby-like. He was Mo Nian. According to his grandfather, Mo Nian would definitely become an amazing figure now that he was a celestial. He had to go to their ancestral land in the Central Plains to receive the inheritance. Back then, Mo Nian had said he would soar and reach the peak of the continent. Thinking of that, Long Chen felt a burst of warmth. He didn't just have enemies. He also had friends he could depend on. The thing that Long Chen found odd was that a person he had been expecting hadn't appeared. Where was Len Yuian? She hadn't appeared during their attack against the Corrupt Path. And she also hadn't appeared when the Corrupt Path had attacked the Zhuanchen Dao sect had she already left the Eastern Wasteland? Or was she in seclusion? After thinking about it for a while, Long Chen decided to not bother with her. In any case, her target was him, not the others. There was nothing to be afraid of. Another matter that rested in his heart was the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He didn't know where it had run off to. If he had a chance, he would definitely get it to owe him another favor. Then he really would be unstoppable. Long Chen's thoughts were chaotic for a while as he thought of many things. Some things were exciting and some things were nerve-wracking. The Central Plains would be his bigger playing field. Long Chen suddenly thought of those four idiots that had undergone tribulation in the immemorial path. Perhaps he would be able to encounter them in the Central Plains. Fuck. There are really too many idiots. How am I supposed to be low-key? Am I supposed to just let them step all over me? Long Chen spat on the ground. The best way to handle these idiots was to viciously slap them in the face. Only once their faces swelled up to the same size as their asses would they remember their lessons. Although Li Changfeng had advised him kindly, Long Chen had his own experience. He decided to continue according to his own style. He returned to the Zhuanchen Dao sect and told Ouyang Qiuayu that Li Changfeng had left. Ouyang Qiuayu was currently infuriated. Li Changfeng had been enraged by Lu Minghan's actions and couldn't bring himself to see Ouyang Qiuayu again. Although it hadn't been his fault, he was too embarrassed to see her. Big sister, I need to ask you a serious question. Long Chen suddenly thought of something. Chapter 963 Cooperation Translator Born to be what is it? Oh young Kiyuaya was a bit surprised. Just how did you dispatch those three old ghosts? Asked Long Chen. 
Long Chen knew that those three kings hadn't left kindly after not getting anything from him. He wanted to know what Li Changfeng had given them to have them leave. The matter's already passed, so don't bring it up again. As long as you're safe, it's fine. Money is well spent if it's used to avert a disaster. Oh Yang Qiyu couldn't look Long Chen in the eyes. HMPH, I knew that they would give you a vicious blow. Just how much did they take? Long Chen was speechless as he stared at Oh Yang Qiyu. Um, about everything. Oh Yang Qiyu's expression was extremely unnatural. Every thing? What does that mean? Everything in the storehouses. All the Yuan spirit stones used to strengthen the formation. What the fuck? Long Chen's eyes almost popped out of his head. That was too vicious. Long Chen, money can be earned if it's lost. Do you know what a calamity you provoked this time? Being able to spend this money to buy your life is amazing, said Ouyang Qiyu. In her opinion, as long as this money was spent to protect Long Chen, losing a fortune was fine. Furthermore, it wasn't as if she had control over this matter. It was all negotiated by Li Changfeng. In her opinion, this result was extremely satisfactory. If I had known this earlier, I would have had Guo Ran completely cripple those disciples, said Long Chen hatefully. In order to enrich the Zhuanchen Dao sect, he had given all the two great battle spoils to Ouyang Qiyu, but as a result, they had all been taken by those three. Long Chen's heart was about to drip blood. Although he wasn't stingy, his battle spoils couldn't be given to just anyone, especially not his enemies. That was what made him furious. All right, so your pocket is completely empty now. No wonder you're not busy reconstructing the building despite it being turned into this state. Long Chen was speechless. You rotten brat. I have no money. And you destroyed the palace. Are you trying to make me so poor I have to live outside? Raged Ouyang Qiyu. Even the representative mark of the Zhuanchen Dao sect had been destroyed. And she had no money to repair it. Don't worry. I'll just build you another. One that's even bigger and grander. It'll make the Zhuanchen Dao sect ten times more amazing than before. Long Chen smiled. He had absolute confidence in these words. He had a mountain of treasure items, and there were quite a few weapons, medicinal pills, armor, and secret tomes that were useless to him. He was in the midst of figuring out how to handle those things. Big words. Reconstructing the Zhuanchen Dao sect requires an ocean's worth of material and people. I've sent an application for more money, but I don't know how long it will take for the first wave of money to arrive. The Zhuanchen Dao sect will probably be a pile of ruins for several years, sighed Ouyang Qiyu. Having stayed in the Zhuanchen Dao sect for so long, this place was her home. Anyone would feel the same if their home was ruined. Big sister, your spirit blood has been made up for, and you were originally a rank 3 celestial. You should be able to become a king soon. Then you can join the head sect. Why stay here? Asked Long Chen. Ouyang Qiyu shook her head. You don't understand. I've been here for too long. My heart is here. Furthermore, I, I'm too old now. I don't have that vigor of youth, nor do I have the will to continuously advance. I'd rather stay here until I'm dead. What? Big sister, you look so young and beautiful. Do you still remember how I treated you like a little sister at first and almost seduced you? Laughed Long Chen. What? You even have interest in an old fossil like me? Laughed Ouyang Qiyu. Big sister isn't old. Cultivators live for countless years. Whether a person is old depends on their heart, said Long Chen. You want to have me and Wuhan go with you to the head sect? You should give up on that thought. We don't want to have to worry about you any longer. We've both discussed it, and we're going to peacefully stay here. With two of us, we'll have company. As for going with you, HMPH, we want to live for a few more years. Spare us. Oh Yang Qiyu shook her head. In truth Oh Yang Qiyu cut him off, saying, Long Chen, we both understand you. We know you want what's best for us, but you have a fatal flaw, and we don't want to become your burdens. We'll be very safe here, and so that's basically helping you. Once you reach the peak of the martial path, if you still remember the two of us, you can come back. Then we'll profit from your prestige and enjoy what it feels like. But that's not now. Looking into Ouyang Qiyu's eyes, Long Chen could understand that Ouyang Qiyu and Chu Wuhan's decision was the smartest one, but he also didn't want to part with them. However, he could accept this proposal. While they were talking, a person came over to report that someone wanted to talk with Long Chen. Brother Wenlong. Haha, <laughs> it's been a long time. In his own private room, Long Chen fiercely hugs Heng Wenlong, who he hadn't seen in a long time. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen. Ah, Long Chen. I thought that you would start to suspect me since it took me so long to get here. 
It looks like I was worried for nothing, laughed Chen Wenlong. As soon as Long Chen had returned to the Zhuangshan Dao sect, he had sent someone to notify Chen Wenlong that he had some business to discuss. But Chen Wenlong had only appeared now. Trusted people shouldn't be doubted, and suspicious people shouldn't be trusted. Since I've chosen to trust you, I'll trust you to the end. Sit, let's drink some tea. I have some big business to discuss with you. Long Chen smiled. The two of them sat. Chen Wenlong opened his mouth first, excitedly saying, Long Chen, do you want to guess where I was these past few days? Long Chen was surprised. Where you were? Could it be? You were promoted. Haha, <laughs> yes, I was in the Central Plains. In just a few years, with my hard work, I've managed to defeat your disciples from the other regions and become an assistant guild leader within the Huaian sect although there are a total of eight assistant guild leaders. I'm the youngest one in all of history. Zhen Wenlong was full of excitement and pride. This position had to be extremely important. So brother Wenlong managed to reach the central plains first. Here, let your brother celebrate for you. I have some wine here. Long Chen took out a jar. No, my Huaian sect's disciples aren't allowed to drink wine. We have to maintain clear heads, said Chen Wenlong. Long Chen didn't force him. Using tea as wine, they toasted. Long Chen said, your promotion is great news to me. It just so happens that the business I have for you is big. Chen Wenlong laughed. He, I know. When I returned, someone told me what happened. I know about everything. And I have to say, you really are vicious. Long Chen, you're even more vicious than last time in the Jiuli secret realm. Speak. What is it that you need? Do you need my help getting rid of some corrupt weapons? Are you looking for short-term profit? Long-term profit? His last question was in regards to how urgently he needed the money. If it was urgent, he could immediately start selling them, lowering the profit in exchange for speed. But if it wasn't urgent, he could sell them over several months, or even several years. I don't have time to care about those things. If you're interested, just give me an all-inclusive deal, and then you can slowly sell them off for more personal profit, said Long Chen. He tossed Chen Wenlong a ring, although he had long since been prepared. When he saw the items inside the spatial ring, he was still shocked. There were hundreds of treasure items inside, and all of them were above average. Various medicinal pills, secret tomes, and spiritual items packed inside it. Just estimating their value would take several days. Brother Long Chen, you really are my lucky star. I only just got promoted, and you're sending me such huge business, exclaimed Chen Wenlong. This is just part of it. I want enough money to reconstruct the Zhuangshan Dao sect. And I also have some other treasures I want you to appraise and give me an estimate. I'm not prepared to take out these treasures right now, but I need to know if there's a marketplace for them. Also, help me stay on the lookout for some rare and strange treasures. Long Chen took out one drop of Divine Mortal Molting Elixir, one drop of 10,000 Spirit Blood, and one Yuan Spirit Stone. Zhen Wenlong's eyes almost popped out. Those three were priceless treasures. Each one of them was enough to cause a huge disturbance. Thank you. Zhen Wenlong gratefully looked at Long Chen. The fact that he had brought out these three things for him to see meant he had absolute trust in him. If news of these three things spread, it would bring countless killers to him. But Long Chen hadn't hesitated to show him. These three are peak treasures that people can't buy no matter how much money they have. So I can't give you real value for them. But since you aren't in a hurry, I'll investigate once I go back and try to get an accurate estimate. I'll also go through the recent auction news and see if there's anything you're interested in. As long as you say the word, I'll find people to get it for you. As for the money you urgently need, I have the authority to lend you plenty of spirit stones. Even if you wanted to expand the Zhuangshan Dao sect by ten times, it should be enough. Zhen Wenlong patted his chest confidently. People always said that rich people sounded assertive. Now, Zhen Wenlong's imposing attitude was becoming more and more amazing. The two of them had been cooperating for a long time, so they figured things out in just a few sentences. Zhen Wenlong left full of excitement, and Long Chen also felt a weight lift off his shoulders. Chapter 964 Condensing the Divine Runes Translator Born to be it went without saying that Zhen Wenlong's efficiency was astonishing. On just the second day, he sent him 30 million high-grade spirit stones. That was equivalent to 3 billion middle-grade spirit stones. This clearly showed the level of Zhen Wenlong's position. High-grade spirit stones were things only experts above Xianchen could absorb. Although they couldn't compare to Yuan spirit stones, they were still rare items on the Martial Heaven continent. With this money, 
Oh Yang Qiyu finally smiled and the haze from the past few days blew away. She praised Long Chen for his abilities. These 30 million high-grade spirit stones immediately turned Oh Yang Qiyu into a wealthy and imposing sect master. She immediately sent out a call for people. The sects that had participated in the battle against the corrupt path rushed over, while the larger sects also sent out people. Reconstructing the Zhuangshan Dao sect required a huge amount of manpower in addition to resources. After sending him 30 million high-grade spirit stones, Zhen Wenlong then sent him a huge mass of material. There was enough material to fill up half the Zhuangshan Dao sect Long Chen had to prostrate himself in admiration towards Zhen Wenlong. He not only sent resources, but he also sent capable craftsmen. They were the highest level craftsmen in the eastern wasteland. So now Ouyang Qiyu didn't need to worry about that. Ouyang Qiyu didn't stand on courtesy when she saw how rich Long Chen had become. In any case, the trouble had been caused by him, and Long Chen had promised to reconstruct the Zhuangshan Dao sect to ten times its previous size. Ouyang Qiyu and Xu Wuhan worked through the night designing and planning the new construction. Discussing it with the craftsmen, they quickly settled on the final details. The very next day, they got to work. But just as the construction was underway, an unexpected event occurred. Countless righteous experts were making their way over. With the ending of the remote heaven gang, the eastern wasteland's righteous path was completely dominated by the Zhuangshan Dao sect since they were in the midst of reconstruction. It was the perfect time to suck up. Millions of righteous experts worked for free for them. The construction became much easier thanks to that. They had money, material, craftsmen, and workers. Oh Yang Qiyu and Xu Wuhan excitedly stared at the diagram of the construction as they constantly directed people. It was like they had returned to their youth and were personally constructing a new home for themselves. Their laughter didn't pause at all during this time. Seeing the two of them working so passionately, Long Chen didn't bother them. He brought the Dragonblood Legion to a secluded mountain, and after excavating a hole, they began cultivating. The Dragonblood Warriors had just advanced to sea expansion. After experiencing consecutive large battles, their auras had stabilized firmly. Long Chen directly used Yuan Spirit Stones to form a formation, and he took out the immemorial altar lamp. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had taught him how to use it. It wasn't an offensive weapon, but a priceless treasure used to assist cultivation. It contained the blessing of supreme experts from the ancient era. The flame inside could draw out the heavenly deos and shine upon a person's heart, allowing them to enter a perfect meditative state where they felt immeasurably closer to the heavenly deos. When people normally cultivated, they first needed to expel random thoughts and enter a meditative state. Once their minds were empty, they would attempt to connect to the heavenly deos. This was extremely difficult, and the effect was different for every person. Sea expansion was a realm where the difference in cultivation speed was the greatest. By this realm, cultivators had to have already begun to touch heaven and earth's laws. That made sea expansion an extremely important foundational realm. It wasn't as simple as simply expanding the sea. But with the immemorial altar lamp, under its light, everyone felt warm and relaxed. It was like they had returned to a state of fetuses within their mother's wombs. Their spiritual yuan naturally circulated. Even without meticulously doing anything, they felt the lamp guiding them to an indescribably miraculous state. Long Chen was shocked to see that everyone's key seas were slowly surging. They were undergoing a slow, second expansion. Even without pills, they can expand their seas a second time? It's no wonder the Eastern Wasteland Bell said that the immemorial altar lamp is amazing. But Long Chen found that it had no effect on him, nor wild. He was just sleeping, an innocent smile on his face. Wild, how about you go play? Remember the landmarks, so you don't get lost, said Long Chen upon seeing how bored Wild was. After so many battles, Wild had used up all his rations. The best thing for him was to go out and get more. However, although Wild promised he wouldn't get lost, Long Chen still gave him a special talisman. Through that talisman, Long Chen could sense his general location. Although it couldn't give him a specific location, its sensing distance was extremely great. It would be easy to find him if he got lost. After handling Wild, Long Chen decided to act as a protector over everyone as they cultivated. He also began studying the secret part of Split the Heavens that Feng Zingli had taught him. Although he could use the third form of Split the Heavens, in truth, he didn't feel like its effect was too great without having condensed the divine runes. Back when he had used it against Lu Minghan, the only reason Long Chen could have injured him was because Lu Minghan had been careless. 
If it had been Feng Zhengli using the third form of split the heavens back then, then even if Lu Minghan had been completely prepared, he probably would have died. What profound principles. Each rune contains a profound connection to each other. Is a human really capable of coming up with something like this? Long Chen sighed inside. He had only just begun studying the first nine runes, but he was instantly drawn into the intricate principles within them. Each one of them represented a different law, a different meaning. As for what their meanings were, Feng Zingli had directly told him not to ask, because he also didn't know. In any case, Feng Zingli just cultivated it according to the instruction of the old man from the heaven splitting battle sect but when Long Chen looked at these divine runes, he seemed to understand a kind of principle. It felt like he understood what they meant, but when he carefully thought about it, he couldn't figure it out. The club beats the tiger, the tiger eats the chicken, the chicken eats the insect, the insect eats the club, each complements each other, but they also counter each other. Long Chen focused, circulating his spiritual yuan through the first nine acupuncture points of split the heavens. Within each acupuncture point, he left behind a spiritual yuan cyclone, at the center of each cyclone. He left a strand of divine sense. Each strand of it contained a different kind of energy. The heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples found it incredibly difficult to do so. This was like planting a seed within the nine acupuncture points, with the spiritual yuan as the fertilizer and the divine sense as the spiritual seed. Each seed contained the embryonic form of the divine rune. It was a slow process, almost a bit like incubating an egg. Due to cultivating the heaven-splitting battle sect's cultivation technique, their disciples didn't have a very strong spiritual strength, so controlling it in this manner was incredibly difficult. But Long Chen finished this first step in an instant. All he needed to do was awaken the divine runes with his spiritual strength. But this process was complicated, as it wasn't just one divine rune at a time, but all nine. He had to split his spiritual strength into nine portions to nourish them at the same time. Furthermore, he had to split his spiritual strength evenly so they grew at the same pace. If they became imbalanced, they would essentially be ruined. If that happened, he would have to erase them and restart. Due to his powerful spiritual strength, he also had great control over it. The nine embryonic forms quickly formed within his acupuncture points and began to grow. They became clearer and clearer. When the nine divine runes fully appeared, Long Chen's expression suddenly turned grave. He softly shanté D to split the heavens of the universe. My soul energy condenses split the heavens divine runes, appear, this was a mnemonic Feng Zingli had taught him, this was his first time chanting it, and he felt like it sounded nonsensical, but after a while, he could feel a mysterious kind of energy within the world, this energy was formless and invisible, but he could sense it, the nine divine runes in his acupuncture points lit up as if they were coming alive, they began to slowly revolve, each divine rune seemed to possess its own life and will, they were connected to his soul, so it was like nine newly born babies starting to become active. Does this mean there really are God's blessings in this world? Long Chen's heart pounded wildly as he examined the movements of the nine runes. This energy wasn't his. After chanting the mnemonic, that mysterious energy had helped him fully activate the spirit of the nine runes. When Feng Zingli had explained the activation of the rune spirits, he had explained it vaguely, merely saying that he would understand when the time came. Now he finally did understand. This kind of thing couldn't be described with words. Having succeeded in condensing the divine runes, Long Chen's confidence rose. It had been extremely easy, and he was just about to start condensing the next nine when a disciple suddenly came over to report that someone was looking for him. Chapter 965 Ant Yu Translator Born to be Ziyokian, although she wore a white veil, that pair of beautiful eyes could steal a person's soul, with that live figure that seemed to have come out of a painting. Who else could it be but you Ziyokian? Long Chen was delighted and surprised. Long Chen, this is Aunt Yu. Yu Ziyokian was also delighted to see Long Chen. But she first politely introduced a woman beside her. This woman appeared to be in her late twenties. Tall and with a high bun. She wore majestic robes that gave her an indescribable grace. Junior Long Chen greets Aunt Yu. Long Chen hastily bowed. It seemed this was Yu Ziyokian's family elder. So he had to be careful. You are Long Chen? As expected, you have some skills. No wonder my family's sacred daughter would be seduced. Aunt Yu laughed without the slightest arrogance, seeming extremely satisfied with Long Chen. Aunt Yu, you, Yu Ziyokian turned red, clearly not having expected her to be so direct. He, Aunt Yu overpraises me, Junior. 
I dare not accept such praise. In Long Chen's excitement, he almost called himself junior brother. That would be too embarrassing. Aunt Yu said, there's no need to be embarrassed. I'm not going to butt into the affairs of youngsters. Long Chen, Yu Ziaokian praised you into the heavens within the clan. I'm just here to help her seal the deal. Aunt Yu, if you don't stop, I'll. Yu Ziaokian's face was too thin compared to Long Chen. She couldn't bear it. All right, fine. Then let's get to the point. Aunt Yu stopped teasing Yu Ziaokian. She waved her hand, and Long Chen felt heaven and earth twist. An unknown energy separated them from the rest of the world. Long Chen was shocked. Just what level of expert was this Aunt Yu? How could she be so terrifying? Just what energy was this? It wasn't teleportation. They seemed to be within the chaotic flow of space, and he was unable to see anything outside. It was just the three of them within this strange space. Long Chen, I represent the original devil race in expressing our sincere thanks. Aunt Yu bowed deeply toward him. Long Chen hastily bowed back, saying, Aunt Yu, I can't accept such a thing. You can. Our original devil race owes you far too much. To tell you the truth, the original devil race has currently been forced to the brink of death. If there still wasn't a change, we really might have ended up exterminated. Sighed Aunt Yu. Long Chen shook his head. The only reason I did what I did was for myself. Our cooperation is mutually beneficial. So there's no debt to owe. Aunt Yu smiled slightly. Ziaokian has told me about your matters. I came over this time to see if you needed any help with anything. If you have any troubles you can't resolve, I can help you. Long Chen's heart shook. He knew she meant that if he had any opponents he couldn't handle, she could help him. I don't have any right now, but I definitely will in the future. I'm very confident in my ability to cause trouble. Long Chen patted his chest confidently. Did you bring the list? We did. But, there's a lot on it, said Yu Ziaokian awkwardly. The skyscraping world's resources were limited, and they were lacking a great deal. Although this list only contained the things they urgently needed, there were hundreds of them on it. That made Yu Ziaokian feel uneasy. Long Chen looked over the list and saw the majority of them were medicinal pills. He couldn't help but ask. The original devil race doesn't have any medicinal pills. Yes, that's why medicinal pills are the things we need urgently. Many people have been stuck at bottlenecks for too long without being able to break through. There are also some who ended up with problems while advancing and left flaws on their foundations. If those flaws aren't repaired, it will gravely affect their future advancements, said Yu Ziaokian worriedly. This matter was incredibly important to the original devil race. Medicinal pills in general were extremely important to cultivators. Otherwise, Pill Valley wouldn't possess such a high position. The entire cultivation world depended on them. Long Chen, although it's a bit much, Yu Ziaokian sobbed. Only once she had gone back to get this list did she learn a few secrets. The original devil race had too many people, and because they didn't have medicinal pills to assist them, problems would occasionally occur in people's cultivation. Those people would be tormented by pain all day, and some even became bedeviled and needed to be sealed. She hadn't known about that last time, but when she brought back quite a few medicinal pills, the entire original devil race had celebrated. Only then had she known how much pain the original devil race had been in. Leave it to me. Medicinal pills aren't a problem for me, said Long Chen. Thank you. Yu Ziaokian couldn't help being surprised by how confident he was. Hearing his promise, she was relieved. Right now, she understood what kind of person Long Chen was. He never promised anything he wasn't assured of. However, the quantity is too great. I'll need some time, said Long Chen. No problem. No problem. We'll just wait, said Yu Ziaokian hastily. Long Chen pondered it for a moment. How about this? Let's first handle the urgent cases. Right now, the Zhuanshan Dao sect has had a falling out with Pill Valley, so buying medicinal pills from them would be difficult. But I have some back channels. Yu Ziaokian and Aunt Yu's expressions changed slightly upon hearing that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had had a falling out with Pill Valley. They both knew medicinal pills were provided by Pill Valley. What back channels? Asked Yu Ziaokian. I'll go get some healing medicinal pills from the Huaian sect and buy a few more from other sects. Those pills will be for those with the worst problems. Then I'll cooperate with the Huaian sect. I'll give them pill formulas and have them refine a huge amount of healing pills. Once all your people are better, they can then refine other pills for you, such as those for cultivation. The Eastern Wasteland is basically dominated by the Zhuanshan Dao sect now. The corrupt path is heavily injured and the ancient races don't dare to make a move. During this time, 
you can establish a secret base. On the surface, you'll be engaging in some minor business, but in reality, I'll have the Zuanchen Dao sect and Huaiyan sect open back channels for you, with the two of them supporting you. No one will dare to provoke you. It would be best if your business involves rare things that few others are involved in. The fewer your customers, the better. It would also be best if your business is the kind that only reveals itself every few years. You understand what I'm saying, right? Said Long Chen. I understand. And you nodded. Before coming, she and Yu Ziaokian had been a bit nervous, as this matter involved the future of the entire original devil race. But this quick analysis of Long Chen's easily resolved the problems that had been crushing down upon her like a mountain. They were both delighted. Furthermore, Long Chen talked like they were one family, making them feel even closer. We shouldn't delay things. Let's split up. I'll go notify the Huaiyan sect. And on the way, I'll use the sect master's name to gather medicinal pills. And you, you go and find a suitable city. Buy a plot of land and establish a stronghold. Also have a few of your race's clever people come to manage it. If you don't have anything to do, you should also temporarily oversee it just to be safe, said Long Chen. Aunt Yu was surprised by how completely Long Chen handled things. She couldn't help but feel a kind of admiration. With him present, she no longer had to worry about anything. I'll accompany Long Chen here. Aunt Yu, you can go first, said Yu Ziaokian. But looking at Aunt Yu's teasing smile, she blushed. I'm just trying to support Long Chen. Even once Aunt Yu left, Yu Ziaokian continued blushing. Long Chen took a deep breath and brought her into the mountain cave. It was time to face what he had to face. This must be junior sister Ziaokian, right? Long Chen always talks about you. When he returned to the cave, he saw that Menki and Tang Wanner were already awake and guarding the entrance for everyone else. Menki was the first to speak. I, I'm Ziaokian. Greetings, big sisters said Yu Ziaokian nervously. She hastily bowed toward the two of them. Good sister, let's sit and talk. Long Chen, there's nothing here for you, so you can scram. Don't eavesdrop on us sisters. Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen. Being glared at by Tang Wan'er, Long Chen's worried heart instantly relaxed. He felt incredibly grateful to Men Qi. He knew that Men Qi had long since explained things to Tang Wan'er. Tang Wan'er was naturally a jealous person. But as long as she didn't explode at the start, it meant things were going very smoothly. Thinking of when they could all finally be together, his expression became absent-minded. Wipe away your saliva and go. We sisters have important things to discuss, said Men Qi. She understood Long Chen far too well, and she pushed him off. Long Chen was incredibly excited. A weight that had been resting on him was finally lifted, and he felt full of energy. He gathered all the workers' sect leaders and gave them a list of medicinal pills he urgently needed. Seeing Long Chen converse with them, those sect leaders were incredibly excited. They all ordered disciples to go back to their sects and bring all their stores of those medicinal pills. Their enthusiasm was at a level that shocked Long Chen, and their efficiency made him speechless. On the very next day, countless pills appeared in front of him. Long Chen directly gave them three times the money that Pill Valley would sell them at. Although quite a few said that they didn't want his money, Long Chen still gave it to them. He didn't like owing favors. Half a day later, Aunt Yu returned here. She was also extremely efficient. The stronghold was already established and only required her to send some people to run it. When Long Chen gave her a huge pile of medicinal pills, she was indescribably grateful. She directly left for the skyscraping world. Saving her people was the most pressing thing. After sending off Aunt Yu, Long Chen once more had a meeting with Zhen Wenlong. When he mentioned he wanted to cooperate in terms of alchemy, Zhen Wenlong became ecstatic. The profit from medicinal pills was the greatest in this world. Long Chen gave Zhen Wenlong over 10 medicinal pill formulas in one go. They were all pills that didn't exist in the outside world. Pill Valley had never sold them, and their medicinal effect was extremely great. Zhen Wenlong almost fainted from joy. Last time he had cooperated with Long Chen like this. He had earned a hefty sum. Even now, money was flowing into his pockets. Armed with these new medicinal pills, Zhen Wenlong promised to properly use them and give a fierce slap to Pill Valley's face. Chapter 966 Down below, there's nothing translator. Born to be the matter with Zhen Wenlong was settled. The pill recipes Long Chen gave him were all 7th and 8th tier, as well as a few peak 6th tier ones. Each one of them was at least 30% more effective than similar pills sold by Pill Valley. They would definitely cause a blow to Pill Valley once they entered the marketplace. In any case, 
The Huai insect was already Pill Valley's rival, so they weren't afraid of its reprisal. This was a mutually beneficial arrangement, as Long Chen needed the Huai insect to refine a huge amount of those pills. On his own, the amount of pills he could refine was limited. He had already handed off a portion of the medicinal pills the Dragon Blood Legion required to Zhen Wenlong to handle. Stealthily returning to the cave, Long Chen didn't directly walk in. From a distance, he heard tinkling bell like laughter. Only then did he dare to enter, but when he heard what they were saying, he immediately wanted to turn and flee. You two don't know, but back then, Long Chen was absolutely evil. Right in front of me, he peed on someone else. Oh, Long Chen, you've come just in time. Sister Ziaokian might not believe me, so why don't you personally explain what you did? Tang Wan'er's sharp eyes instantly saw Long Chen, who was in the midst of trying to sneakily slip away. The three of them had been chatting this entire time. They had been talking about Long Chen, and it was unknown who started it, but they began to talk about his embarrassing moments. Tang Wan'er had immediately thought of when she had first encountered Long Chen. With all three of them turning to look at him, Long Chen had an urge to bury himself. Even if his face was thicker than a city wall, he felt a burning sensation on it. What nonsense. That was clearly a tactic to drown my enemies, raged Long Chen. Back then, when he had just entered the territory of the Zhuanshan Monastery, a fellow had found him displeasing and wanted to kick him aside. As a result, Long Chen had thrown him into the river. That person had refused to take it lying down, and he began to furiously curse him. Long Chen had then used his drowning tactic against the fellow displaying it in a grand and open manner. Tang Wan'er had been flying over and had criticized him for being a rogue. That was the first time they had met. Now that it was mentioned again, Long Chen felt embarrassed. Looking at Long Chen's red face, the three women erupted in laughter. This expression of Long Chen's was too rare. TCH. Keep laughing. Sooner or later, you'll all be grabbing the bed rails and biting the sheets. Long Chen thought to himself. Just thinking about it made his heart beat faster. Right now. Yu Ziaokian wasn't wearing her veil, and the three of them were gathered together like flowers in bloom. They were all different kinds of beauty that made his heart itch. Hey, what's the point in just laughing? Let's play a game. Long Chen laughed sinisterly. What game? Pearl in the Dark. Laughed Long Chen, his eyes shining. Pearl in the Dark? The name's a bit interesting. How do you play? Tang Wan'er didn't notice that Men Ki had closed her mouth. He, I'll place a pearl on your collar, and then blindfold myself. Then, you can't move, and we see how long it takes me to find the pearl, laughed Long Chen. What's so fun about that? Aya, you pervert, raged Tang Wan'er. She saw Long Chen's gaze roving around her body as if looking for a place to search. All right, don't mess around anymore. Long Chen, come and sit. It's rare for us all to have time like this, said Men Ki. Long Chen sighed with relief inside. Tang Wan'er didn't show any irritation at Yu Ziaokian. In fact, the two of them were chatting quite happily. That made him cast a grateful glance at Men Ki. Then she gave him a warm smile that caused his heart to shake. He suddenly thought of his bath with her in the spirit world. Every inch of her body looked like it had been crafted by a god. Thinking of that moving feeling and her bashful gaze, it unconsciously began to affect him. Looking at Long Chen's fiery gaze, Men Ki blushed. She understood Long Chen far too well, and she knew exactly what he was thinking. Long Chen. Tell us a story, said Tang Wan'er suddenly. No, said Long Chen. Scoundrel, are you looking for a beating? Tang Wan'er raised her small fists menacingly. Helplessly, Long Chen said. Fine, you want a story? Once, there was a eunuch. Long Chen suddenly refused to keep going. Tang Wan'er didn't know if she was being conned, so she asked. And then, Long Chen sighed, an expression of grief on his face. With a quiet, sad voice, he said. And then, there's nothing. Tang Wan raged. What kind of story was this? There was nothing to it. Men Ki scolded him. Rogue. Yu Ziaokian also came to a comprehension with Men Ki scolding. Pervert. Tang Wan -er was confused for a long while before she finally understood his words. Her fists rained down on him. After a brief scuffle, they stopped being so constrained. Yu Ziaokian asked about the matter with the medicinal pills, and he explained what had happened, allowing her to fully relax. During the next few days, Long Chen also cultivated, condensing the split the heavens divine runes. He condensed 27 of them easily. In other words, he had condensed all the runes for the third form of split the heavens. But when he tried to condense the fourth form's runes, he felt a burst of pain at his acupuncture points and gave up. If he forced it, 
There was the danger of his acupuncture points rupturing. He hadn't dared to keep going. It was no wonder Feng Zingli had said not to try using the fourth form without reaching foundation forging first. But even so, he had the first 27 runes condensed. Now he just needed to nourish them. As an alchemist, Long Chen had special means to do so. He could use medicinal pills to allow those runes to absorb energy faster. However, it was still an extremely slow process. Fortunately, he wasn't in a hurry right now and devoted a great deal of time to cultivating. During this time, with the assistance of the immemorial altar lamp, the Dragonblood Legion had expanded their seas to a peak. Each one of them now had a key sea of 3,000 miles. Furthermore, their cultivation bases also rapidly advanced dozens of times faster than going all out cultivating with medicinal pills. With the immemorial altar lamp, they didn't need to bitterly cultivate. Each day, it felt like they were sleeping as they entered a profound state. In that state, their cultivation bases progressed at astounding speeds without causing their foundations to become unsteady. Furthermore, it also advanced their mental realms. In that dreamlike state, they comprehended many things they hadn't even thought about before. While the Dragonblood Legion cultivated blissfully, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was undergoing daily change. Millions of experts were working day and night, and huge constructions rose into the sky one by one. They were built so fast that people found it unreal. Day by day, time flowed on. After five whole months, Long Chen and the others all came out of seclusion. They had no choice but to come out as the Zhuanshan Dao sect's construction had been completed. Now, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was ten times grander than before. Its palace soared into the clouds, appearing luxurious, grand, and imposing. The plaza was made of all new material, and there was a formation supporting it. The patriarch's statue had also been reconstructed, shining brightly like a mirror. The entire Zhuanshan Dao sect had changed, giving the air a feeling of energy. With the construction finally over, today was a celebration. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was filled with tables. The fine wine and delicacies had long since been prepared. When Long Chen and the others appeared, it caused an uproar. Everyone saw that after five months, the Dragonblood Warriors had gone from early sea expansion to mid-sea expansion. Gu Yang, Gu Aran, and the other captain-level experts had even reached the seventh heaven stage. They were at late sea expansion. It had only been five months. This cultivation speed was absolutely shocking. Looking at them, even foundation forging experts had to sigh emotionally. This world would be theirs in the future. Long Chen finally understood why the immemorial altar lamp was an exceedingly precious existence even in the ancient era. Its ability to assist cultivation was truly heaven-defying. Everyone's cultivation bases had soared during this time. In the first month, they had all reached the third heaven stage. Then their cultivation speeds had begun to slow down. But that was only in comparison to their previous speed. Compared to the outside world's cultivation speed, it was still shocking. Long Chen had also found some rules about the immemorial altar lamp. It also allowed people to establish their foundation quickly, letting their foundation become flawless. But as their cultivation bases grew, the effect lessened. In truth, this was intentionally done by the immemorial altar lamp. At the beginning, Long Chen hadn't understood. But then he had realized that the immemorial altar lamp was different from ordinary treasures. It had its own rules. The higher the realm, the more it would withdraw its blessings. It had those using it go out and comprehend some things on their own. Otherwise, they would form a dependence on it. If people formed a dependence on it, then that wouldn't be helping, but ruining their futures. Forming a dependence would be a destructive blow to a cultivator, which was why it pulled back its blessings. This was also one of the reasons it was such an amazing treasure in the ancient era. It was most useful in the early stage of a realm. In the middle stage, its blessings would lessen, and by the late stage, it essentially had no effect. During the celebration, Long Chen saw Feng Jian and the others that had fought with him. They laughed and drank until they were dizzy. The celebration lasted for seven days and seven nights. At this point, the Zhuanshan Dao sect was the overlord of the eastern wasteland. No one could resist them. Once the celebration was over, the various sects left. Through this interaction, they were put at ease by the Zhuanshan Dao sect's attitude. They all received considerable payments for their work. Once all the guests had left, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's people continued celebrating for three days. The Zhuanshan Dao sect had now reached an unprecedented state of unity. They were all aligned, mentally and physically. Several days later, at dusk, a large flying boat slowly descended upon them. Here. Long Chen says that what he did was drowning of the seven armies. 
In Romance of the Three Kingdoms, a general flooded the Han River, drowning his enemies. When Tang Wan'er asks and then, the literal meaning is down below, Tang Wan'er, and down below, Long Chen, down below, there's nothing. Chapter 967 Move Out, Target, the Central Plains Translator, born to be when the flying boat arrived above the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Oh Young Kiyu hastily went out to greet it. The flying boat had a flag waving to indicate its affiliation. The Zhuanshan Dao sect the Zhuanshan Dao sect it indicated was not the branch sect within the eastern wasteland. It was the head Zhuanshan Dao sect located in the central plains. Every ten years, the head sect would send flying boats to the branch sects to bring disciples who met the qualifications back to the head sect. Those disciples all had to have reached sea expansion, and they needed to be no older than fifty. Oh Young Kiyu, leader of the Eastern Wastelands branch sect, greet senior from the head sect. Oh Young Kiyu hastily bowed. Long Chen and the others had no choice but to follow, but Long Chen merely bent his waist slightly to indicate that he was bowing. In reality, Long Chen looked down on this move. The flying boat took a full incense stick's time to descend. The people on it refused to show themselves, intentionally waiting for all the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples to gather and bow to them. That was irritating to him. Stairs descended from the flying boat. A group of people walked down, all their auras vast like a sea. The person at the front was a middle-aged man with a stern face. His long hair fell to the back of his head, and his brows were raised, giving off a strict feeling. Is everything prepared? He asked Oh Young Kiyu, reporting to Senior. Everything is prepared. This time, the Eastern Wastelands branch sect has a total of 417 people who qualify to be sent to the Central Plains to take the test. Answered Oh Young Kiyu. The truth was that other than the Dragon Blood Legion, there were few that met the qualifications. Amongst those remaining people, some were disciples sent from other sects. Their sects had entrusted them to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, as their own sects didn't have the power to properly raise them. If they were sent to the Zhuanshan Dao sect, they could go to the Central Plains. These sects felt that holding back their disciples was worse than letting them go to another sect if their disciples could take root in the central plains and gain some skills. When the time came, they might come back and bring them over to the central plains as well or improve their original sect. This was emotional persuasion. If it paid off, then it would pay off extremely well. Those disciples that were sent off might leave their family or partners back in the sect. They were like a kite string connected to them, making it so when they did gain power. They wouldn't forget to repay their original sect in accordance with the rules. We will leave in three days to give the disciples time to say goodbye to their friends and family. Arrange a residence for us, said the middle-aged man. His voice wasn't loud, but it was filled with unquestionable dignity. Yes, the arrangements have long since been prepared. As Oh Young Kiyu spoke, sea expansion elders came forward to lead them away. A total of 38 people came off the boat. Only that middle-aged man's aura was reserved so that no one could tell his cultivation base. However, the pressure he gave off made it unquestionable that he had to be a terrifying king. The others who came off the boat were all young disciples. Their cultivation bases were all at foundation forging, but their auras were extremely condensed. Just like the middle-aged man, they gave off an immense pressure. Once they had left, Guo Ran speechlessly said, They really know how to be posers. We came out to greet them. But they didn't even glance at us. Long Chen nodded. Oh Young Kiyu and Chu Wuhan, along with the other higher ups, had left with that middle aged man's group. The disciples remaining didn't quite know what to do. Let's scatter. Long Chen waved his hand, telling the disciples to go do whatever they were doing before. This had been nothing more than a show. Long Chen, I have to leave. Once they returned, Yu Ziaokian reluctantly opened her mouth. Sister Ziaokian, you're not going to stay with us. Tang Wan'er grabbed Yu Ziaokian's hand. Aunt Yu said I can't go with Long Chen to the Central Plains, said Yu Ziaokian. Why not? Long Chen, go ask Aunt Yu to have Ziaokian accompany us, said Tang Wan'er. During this time, Tang Wan'er had surprisingly begun to stick up for Yu Ziaokian, because Yu Ziaokian was younger than her and naturally naive. Tang Wan'er treated her as a little sister that needed protecting. When she was with Men Qi, she felt herself to not be sensible or mature enough, but with Yu Ziaokian, she felt like she had a true partner, and the two of them had been chattering incessantly this entire time. It's not a good time for Ziaokian to accompany us to the Central Plains. Long Chen shook his head. Yu Ziaokian began to cry, causing Tang Wan'er to be infuriated. You scoundrel Long Chen, what are you talking about? Sister Wan'er, 
don't make things hard on Long Chen. The Central Plains are where the world's strongest experts reside. It's not a good idea for me to go with you there, said Yu Ziaokian. Long Chen was helpless. There was no way around this, as there were just too many experts in the Central Plains. According to Aunt Yu, some were approaching the level of gods. If Yu Ziaokian went, it would be all too easy for her identity to be exposed. Don't worry, once I establish myself in the Central Plains and build up a new stronghold, we can still be together. Comforted Long Chen as he held Yu Ziaokian's hand Noveloon.com I know, I just, I don't want to part, said Yu Ziaokian. Don't worry, it won't be too long, we'll quickly meet again. There are still many things for you to handle here in the eastern wasteland, but I've already told Chen Wenlong to send all the medicinal pills to your new stronghold. Just get through this hard time. Chen Wenlong was already in motion, gathering hordes of alchemists and teaching them the new pill formulas. He had done repeated tests with the pill formulas and had confirmed that there were no problems with them. He was already starting to refine them in bulk. It was the same as the bone tempering pills. Long Chen would first get a bulk order of them, and only then would they be sold on the market. Right now, Long Chen was in a race against the clock. The matter of the medicinal pills was now no longer as desperate as five months ago, as a huge number of medicinal pills had reached the original Devil Race's disciples. With new cultivation resources, those disciples broke through bottlenecks, delighting the entire original devil race. In front of everyone's unwilling gazes, Yu Ziaokian left, but this parting was temporary. The eastern wasteland was currently enjoying an unprecedented level of peace. Everything was extremely calm. The corrupt path, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliances matters had all been handled. Although the eastern wasteland's corrupt path had taken heavy losses, the righteous path didn't move to completely exterminate them. They left this leeway, so the corrupt path also didn't dare to commit a huge taboo and send their experts to the eastern wasteland. Perhaps in the righteous and corrupt path's higher up's eyes, the fight in the eastern wasteland was nothing more than a game. A temporary win was just that, temporary. However, the corrupt path truly did hate Long Chen to the bone now. This time, he had slapped them in the face extremely viciously, and more than once at that, the ancient races and ancient family alliance were compensated and so they had won back some face. But Long Chen was sure that once he arrived in the Central Plains, things would not be very peaceful. As for the Bloodkill Hall, he had always been on guard against them, but he had heard that the headling Yunzi had cut off had been sent back to the head Zuanchen Dao sect. The Zuanchen Dao sect had sent the Bloodkill Hall a warning, but as for what the result was, none of them knew. To sum it up, Long Chen was enjoying a rare moment of peace in the Eastern Wasteland, but once he entered the Central Plains, that peace wouldn't necessarily continue. Furthermore, the Central Plains was packed with many geniuses, and Long Chen didn't like his odds of continuing this peace. Time truly passed quickly. The third day arrived in what felt like the blink of an eye. In front of Ouyang Qiuayu and Xu Wuhan's reluctant gazes, Long Chen stepped onto the flying boat with everyone else. The flying boat began to shine, and then instantly disappeared from the Zhuanchen Dao sect site. Everyone felt a feeling of loss. That troublemaker has finally left. Oh Yang Qiuayu didn't feel the slightest relief as she watched the flying boat depart. Instead, she felt mournful. That's right. He can finally cause trouble for others. We're free. Xu Wuhan smiled. But tears streamed down her face. Ever since knowing Long Chen, she had viewed him as a little brother. He had never treated her as a monastery head. And she had never treated him as a disciple. But now that he had left for a place full of hidden dragons and crouching tigers like the Central Plains, with his temperament, he might never come back. Their smiles were covered in tears. Xu Wuhan didn't quite know what feelings she had for Long Chen. Normally she gave him a strict face, afraid if she was too lax with him, he would end up causing his own death. But now thinking of his simple-minded smile, she felt it to be so warm, so intimate. But now it was gone. Sister, people need space to grow. If he's to be a dragon, he has to soar into the sky. Don't be too sad. Oh Yang Qiuayu patted Xu Wuhan's shoulder. Do you think Long Chen will return? Asked Xu Wuhan. She understood Long Chen's temper far too well. Now that he was going to the Central Plains, either heaven and earth would flip, or he would die a miserable death. And the probability of the latter was much higher. That's not something we can know. All we can do is not bring him more trouble, as well as pray for him. Oh Yang Qiuayu looked into the distance and sighed. She really was worried about Long Chen now that he had left. Long Chen and the others only realized that the flying boat was its own space once they got on it. 
It was much bigger than it appeared on the outside. Furthermore, on the flying boat, they could see everything outside. The flying boat was see-through from the inside and was also shockingly fast. As soon as it started moving, the Zhuangshan Dao sect disappeared. That made them all feel a bit mournful. Everyone had emotions. The feeling of leaving a familiar place for a foreign land was one of both excitement and nervousness. Even Long Chen felt that contradictory feeling. He wanted to stay behind and enjoy his peaceful life longer. But he also wanted to go to the Central Plains and investigate his origins. Although he wasn't actually doing any investigating, he knew his parents had to have shocking origins. Right now, he didn't have the qualifications to investigate. If he tried with his current power level, he would probably just get himself killed. Other than the mystery of his origins, he also had hot blood flowing through his veins. He thirsted to compete with other peak geniuses, wanting to step onto a larger playing field and see a vaster sky. You are Long Chen? Get out here. Long Chen and the others had just taken a seat within the boat when a person at the front icily shouted. Chapter 968 A Show of Power to Blunt Their Arrogance? Translator. Born to be the person demanding Long Chen come out was a foundation forging expert. Long Chen had known since before getting on the flying boat that these people were disciples from the Zhuangshan Dao sect's previous generation. Ten years a generation, and they were already foundation forging experts. It was truly amazing for them to be foundation forging experts in their early thirties. Furthermore, he saw that they were all at least rank two celestials. Some were even rank three celestials. Such geniuses were much stronger than the ordinary foundation forging experts he had encountered before. In the eastern wasteland, with their cultivation basis, they could establish their own sects. But in the central plains, they were no more than ordinary disciples. The one shouting at Long Chen was a man with long hair that scattered naturally around him. He seemed to possess a certain amount of status, as the others listened to him. Although he appeared indifferent and didn't look directly at them, Long Chen clearly saw him eyeing Men Qi and Tang Wanner with his peripheral vision. Looking at his arrogant manner, Long Chen knew exactly what kind of farty was about to release. I don't have time for you, said Long Chen icily. His voice caused the head sect's disciples' expressions to change, especially the man at the front. His expression sank, and his aura began to rise. Long Chen, you don't want to join the head sect, he shouted coldly. Are you the patriarch of the sect? sneered Long Chen. It seems you aren't. Since you aren't, it seems you're bragging a bit too much. If you really had any position in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, you wouldn't have run over here to handle such a matter. A poser routine that lacks any technique or skill like this is something we've all long since stopped playing. Long Chen, I, Wang Mang, challenge you to a battle, shouted that person. He took out a badge that was made of an unknown material. It was like metal but not metal, like wood but not wood. The Zuan character was carved into it, and the back had Wang Mang's name. I'm busy. Long Chen shook his head. He, it's not up to you. According to the Zhuangshan Dao sect's rules, disciples are permitted to exchange pointers. You either accept or scram from the Zhuangshan Dao sect, said a different senior disciple. Oh, there's such a thing. Long Chen frowned. Haha, are you afraid now? Coward, sneered another disciple. Guo Ran, who had been sitting there silently up until now, finally couldn't endure it anymore and stood up. He sneered. Idiot, if it weren't for your robes, you'd already be dead. You want to provoke my boss? Thank your lucky stars he doesn't care about the shouting of ants. What's all this fuss? A stern shout rang out. It was the voice of the middle-aged man, but he didn't reveal himself. Reporting to Elder Shaw, disciple is acting entirely within the rules. I haven't overstepped any of them, said Wang Mang. Elder Shaw's emotionless voice rang out. The Zhuangshan Dao sect does have a rule permitting disciples to exchange pointers, but it is restricted to the same realm. If you suppress your cultivation bases to see expansion, you can do what you want. Disciples of the Eastern Wasteland, the Zhuangshan Dao sect has its own rules, and everyone must respect them. Although some rules are a bit annoying, you only have two paths to follow. Either leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect, or endure. If you don't want to leave and you also don't want to be restricted by the rules, then it's very simple. All you have to do is become strong enough to resist the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect but if any of you had that power, I guess that you'd have long since established your own sect instead of joining the Zhuangshan Dao sect these outer sect disciples were suppressed harshly back then as well, so their resentment is now falling on you. This is an annoying tradition, but it can't be changed, at least not by you. To put it nicely, the point is to blunt the sharpness of the newcomers, making them easier to manage. 
It's to avoid you not knowing how high the heavens are and being tyrannical. That's not good for your cultivation. But in truth, talking about that is useless. Rules are rules. And it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. And don't act like children. After cultivating for so long, you should know this is a world of the strong. If you don't step over others, others will step over you. If you don't kill your enemies, your enemies will kill you. I don't want to hear any complaints about how this is unfair. If anyone dares to say anything like that, I'll immediately toss them out. Elder Shah's words caused everyone's hearts to shake. It seemed the Zhuanshan Dao sect's rules were even harsher than they had thought. They suddenly realized that this group of people had definitely also been bullied by the disciples of the generation above them. Now the roles were reversed, and they were ready to vent. Just what was this supposed to be? A show of power to make them less arrogant? Before giving them the candy, they first beat them a bit? Those disciples that had just joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect were startled and enraged. The majority of them were ranked two celestials. Fen Jian and those like him hadn't come as he had chosen to stay within his sect he had wanted to come. But his sect leader's longevity was running out. A disciple owed a heavy debt to his master and sect. And as a result, he sacrificed this chance and stayed behind to become his sect's leader. These ordinary disciples were enraged. But they saw that the expressions of all the Dragonblood Legion were completely flat. Even the ordinary Dragonblood warriors didn't reveal the slightest emotion. As if this was nothing. Did you hear Elder Shaw clearly? You can't refuse. So are you going to obediently come over to be beaten? Or do we need to pick our targets? But don't worry. We're very gentle to female disciples. Especially the beautiful ones. Ha ha ha. Laughed a senior disciple while he looked at Men Ki. Tang Wan Er. And the other beautiful women. A wretched smile on his face. Elder Shaw. Is it permitted to kill people while exchanging pointers? Asked Long Chen. No. Elder Shaw's voice once more rang out. What if someone accidentally kills someone? Long Chen continued asking. The reason doesn't matter. That person will be expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect. What if someone heavily injures or even cripples someone else? What happens then? As long as they're not dead, it's fine. Oh, disciple understands. Long Chen nodded. Long Chen's expression was flat, but those familiar with him all knew that he was getting angry. These people might end up very unlucky today. HMPH. Cowards. Don't worry, no one will take your little lives. Your senior apprentice brothers will teach you how to behave and what respect is. It's very beneficial to you, as it helps you avoid running into walls over and over once you enter the sect so you should thank us. Laughed a senior disciple, gazing at them as if they were lambs for the slaughter. But they quickly realized that while a few did look at them with the unease and terror they had expected, the majority of them were looking at them like they were idiots. That infuriated them. Wang Mang glanced at one of the people by his side, and that person immediately jumped out. Pointing at Long Chen and the others, he sneered, who dares to come out and fight? That person released his powerful aura, but his realm was suppressed to the peak of sea expansion. As he released his aura, the flying boat quivered and its space suddenly rapidly expanded. A huge martial stage appeared. That person flew onto the martial stage, icily staring at Long Chen and the others with a derisive sneer on his face. Brother Long, let me go. Wilde was infuriated at looking at this fellow and wanted to go up. No. It's not permitted to kill people. He won't be able to receive a single blow from you before dying. Long Chen shook his head. Let me, said Yu Zifeng. No, your sword Dao has just formed. Once you use it, you should only use it for killing blows. If you don't have any intent to kill, it will blind your Dao heart. Long Chen shook his head once more. Right now, Yu Zifeng's heavenly Dao runes had been wiped away by Ling Yunzi. He was focused completely on comprehending the sword Dao. With the help of the immemorial altar lamp, he had seen the path he needed to walk. He had formed an embryonic form of his own personal sword Dao. In this kind of situation, he couldn't just randomly attack. On the off chance that it had a negative impact on him, then it would be completely not worth it. Everyone heard Long Chen refuse for the two of them to go up. The senior disciple on the martial stage was infuriated. This was a naked insult. Bastard. Get the hell up here. Looks like I'm the most suitable one. Gu Yang smiled, and rubbing his shiny head, he walked out. Okay, be careful. Safety first. Long Chen nodded. Ha ha ha. Safety first? Today, I'll turn your bald head into a broken head, shouted the senior disciple. He suddenly shot forward, unleashing a fist at Gu Yang. Powerful winds whirled around his fists. Within this sealed boat, it caused a loud roaring sound that made people's hair stand on end. 
The expressions of the disciples that had just joined the Zhuangshan Dao sect were all ashen. Such power was something they didn't have the power to resist. Even if their opponents were suppressing their cultivation bases to see expansion, they weren't on the same level. But what startled them was that this fierce fist was suddenly caught by a large hand, and the owner of that hand was Gu Yang. Idiot. You didn't even understand what boss was saying. Safety first means making sure I don't accidentally kill you. After saying that, Gu Yang's arm suddenly bulged and an explosive power came from it. In front of everyone's shocked gazes, the senior disciple was still powerless to resist even as he fought all out. He was thrown to the ground, and the sound of bones breaking caused people to wince. When Gu Yang raised that person from the ground again, they saw that this senior disciple had been turned into a lump. All his bones had been shattered, and he was unconscious. Other than the dragon blood legion, everyone else was struck dumb. Chapter 969 only imitated, never surpassed translator, born to be a lump of flesh flew over to the Zhuanshan Dao sect senior disciples. Does anyone else want to curb the arrogance of the newcomers? Come, challenge Gu Yang. Gu Yang's bright head combined with his fierce expression made him seem like a large monster. Adding on how he had just defeated one of the senior disciples in one move, he appeared exceptionally imposing. HMPH, arrogant brat, I'll handle you. Another senior disciple flew onto the stage, immediately summoning his runes and attacking. Having gained experience from the previous person, he immediately let loose a magical art. They had all realized that these newcomers weren't as easy to handle as usual. As a result, he immediately used the magical art he was most proficient in. Although his cultivation base was suppressed to sea expansion, it was at the peak of sea expansion. As a foundation forging expert, his proficiency in magical arts was much deeper than a sea expansion disciple. With just a wave of his hand, his magical art shot out. His cast time was extremely short, making it so there was practically no chance to interrupt him. This was an absolute advantage they had even though their cultivation bases were suppressed. Their proficiency in magical arts usually allowed them to completely suppress the newcomers. Strength wasn't something that could be judged purely by cultivation base. This was why the newcomers were always bullied by the senior disciples. Even with cultivation bases in the same realm, the older generation disciples had 10 extra years of experience. This difference was extremely great. This senior disciple in particular would count as above average in this group. He saw that Gu Yang was a powerful brute force fighter. So he didn't fight him head on. Boom. Gu Yang's fist smashed onto the runic fist image. Shattering it what? All the senior disciples were startled. But seeing Gu Yang suddenly release a powerful pressure containing blood key. All their expressions changed. Spirit blood. Gu Yang had activated the power of his spirit blood. After refining the 10,000 spirit blood. He had condensed his own core runes. His spirit blood attribute increased the power of his physical body. This was the most terrifying thing about 10,000 spirit blood. A person who originally had no spirit blood could use it to excavate their potential in the area they were most proficient in and condense their own core runes. For example, a disciple might be proficient in two, or even three attributes. However, those attributes wouldn't be balanced, making it so each one of them was useless. After refining 10,000 spirit blood, they could increase their ability in all of those attributes and they could also choose to condense their core runes with one of the attributes. Once the core runes were condensed, then with the assistance of the 10,000 spirit blood, their new spirit blood would possess only one attribute. That way, all their talent would be concentrated, giving them immense power. This was the heaven-defying power of 10,000 spirit blood. In the immemorial path, Lord Heavenly had given Long Chen over a thousand drops of 10,000 spirit blood. Other than what he had used on the Dragon Blood Legion and a small portion, Long Chen had sent over 500 drops to use Iokian. Not only that, but other than the rank 4 Heavenly Dao fruits, he had sent all the others to use Iokian. In other words, he had sent her tens of thousands of Heavenly Dao fruits. Other than those two things, anything he had extras of, he had sent her. He was going all out to equip this ally of his, giving himself a powerful backer. In Long Chen's mind, there was no such thing as a good or bad person. There were only enemies and allies. Even if the original devil race was wicked beyond redemption, as long as they sincerely helped him, he wouldn't mind forming a pact with the devil. However, Long Chen didn't feel that the original devil race's people were evil. Back in the immemorial path, he had seen murals showing the human race bowing to the original devil race. 
There was also the fact that the Eastern Wasteland Bell had lost control and furiously cursed when it had heard that the original Devil Race was being hunted by the whole world. That meant there were some problems with what was publicly known. But even ignoring all that, Long Chen trusted Yu Ziaokian, and since he trusted her, he would trust her fully. Practically everything he had accumulated had been given to her. He also hadn't wanted to part, but his mind told him that they couldn't be seen together in the open yet. Long Chen had intentionally handed Yu Ziaokian a long list of things to handle so that she would be busy instead of wallowing in sadness all day. Right now, Long Chen only had a few rank 4 heavenly Dao fruits remaining. As for the Dragonblood Legion, even the squad leaders were rank 4 celestials. The remaining rank 4 heavenly Dao fruits he had weren't enough for everyone else, and so he decided to have them temporarily stay as rank 3 celestials. Gu Yang wasn't just a rank 4 celestial, but he was also someone who possessed exceedingly pure spirit blood. Once he activated it, his power was incomparably terrifying. The senior disciple's expression changed upon seeing his magical art being shattered in one move. He was just about to switch moves when he saw Gu Yang's blinding head grow closer and seemingly brighter. Bang! Gu Yang's head smashed into that senior disciple's nose. The sound of bones breaking rang out. The senior disciple's face looked like it had been smashed by a hammer. It caved in, and with a miserable cry, he flew back. Long Chen was speechless. When did the Dragonblood Legion begin fighting like this? Boss, how was this move of mine? Gu Yang laughed. His attack had struck cleanly. It was truly not bad. Wipe off the snot from your head before you speak. Looking at the blood and mucus on Gu Yang's head, Long Chen was speechless. Aya, I forgot. Only now did Gu Yang react. Rubbing his head, it felt slimy. Looking at his blood and snot-covered hand, he himself felt a wave of nausea. No longer in the mood to fight, Gu Yang jumped off the stage and quickly washed it off. Although he wasn't misophobic, this was just too disgusting. Gu Ran now pointed at Gu Yang using him as an example of what not to do. Do you see? This is the result of trying to be a poser without having any skill. If you want to be a poser, you have to look at the situation, the people, the time, the weather, the light, the angle, the size, the enthusiasm, etc. As Dragonblood Warriors, each one of our movements relates to boss's face. Our slogan is, no being posers without assurance, and no being posers without any technique. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er turned their heads away in embarrassment, refusing to look at Guo Ran. This kind of wording was unbearably vulgar. But of course, none of the men by Long Chen's side were refined and elegant. They were always casual and carefree, often spouting such coarse language. They were mostly used to it now. If you want to be a poser, you have to follow boss's example. I've studied boss's posing for 20 years, but I've only managed to imitate him, never surpass him. You disciples, listen well. Our boss is a professor of posing. You can try being posers at other times, but don't try it in front of my boss. My boss has a simple principle. Posers need a beating, and the manner doesn't matter. So if you don't want to be beaten, you better behave, said Guo Ran. Long Chen didn't say anything. He glanced sideways at Guo Ran. Day by day, Guo Ran's ability to spout nonsense grew. Now he even dared to tease him. He was only 21. How was Guo Ran supposed to have followed him for 20 years? Could it be that ever since he learned to talk, Guo Ran had been by his side, studying? Although he was a bit displeased to be used in this manner, Long Chen still felt that this kind of carefree, joking manner made them much closer. Guo Ran's shouting caused the senior disciples' expressions to sink. As a result, one of them jumped onto the martial stage. He furiously glared at Long Chen, but after a long while of hesitation, he pointed at one of the ordinary Dragonblood warriors. You, get up here. Originally, he had been planning on challenging Guo Ran, because Guo Ran's aura was extremely weak. But as soon as he had been about to say it, he suddenly stopped. Something as unusual as that had to have something behind it. Since Guo Ran dared to say such things, even daring to use Gu Yang as an example of what not to do, he had to be at least on Gu Yang's level. So he chose someone else. That dragonblood warrior stepped onto the stage, and the senior disciple immediately launched a magical art. A runic wall crashed toward the dragonblood warrior. The dragonblood warrior suddenly released his blood key, destroyed the runic wall with a single punch, and grabbed his opponent's hair, slamming his head into his knee. He slammed him three times, and that pitiful senior disciple felt like his head was spinning. His ears buzzed, and he stumbled around for a while before collapsing on the ground. What? Another one who possesses spirit blood. 
and a rank three celestial at that. All those senior disciples were startled. Contrary to Gu Yang, this dragon blood warrior wasn't so strong. In order to instantly defeat Chiring his opponent, he had summoned his heavenly Dao runes and spirit blood power at the very start. I refuse to believe all of you have spirit blood. Another senior disciple jumped onto the martial stage. Rank 3 Celestials had a definite Heavenly Deo suppression over Rank 2 Celestials, but that effect was only apparent in battles against the same realm. Since they were foundation forging experts, the Heavenly Deo suppression didn't have much effect on them. All they were afraid of was the power of their spirit blood. He, little fellow, you're quite smart. You've seen through our weak point with just a glance. Yes, there truly are people without spirit blood among us. In fact, they don't even have Heavenly Deo energy. If you're lucky, you might be able to pick them out, laughed Guo Ran. The Dragonblood warriors also laughed. In the Dragonblood Legion, the ones who weren't Celestials were Long Chen, Yu Zifeng, and Wild. Thinking of the results if the senior disciples encountered them, they all became excited. That senior disciple didn't have that luck though. He picked out a squad leader, and in just a moment, he was lying on the ground. The senior disciples' expressions only grew uglier. Four people had gone out to fight and four people had been beaten black and blue without the slightest ability to resist. You, come out, I challenge you. The squad leader didn't feel satisfied after beating one person. He beckoned to one of the senior disciples. I refuse. With your spirit blood, you can release unbeatable power, while I have to suppress my cultivation base. It's unfair, said the senior disciple. As soon as he said that, the senior disciple disappeared. Chapter 970 Full Translator born to be what happened. Everyone was startled by this sudden change. They hadn't seen how this person had disappeared. Even Long Chen's guard went up, as this change was too sudden. Heavens, he's flown out. Someone let out a startled cry. Looking outside the flying boat, they saw a figure rapidly shrinking and disappearing. Although it had just been an instant, they had still managed to see that senior disciple's look of despair and terror. I've already said that anyone who dares to say that something is unfair in front of me should be ready to be thrown out. Did you treat my words as just wind through your ears? Just at this moment, the cold elder Shah appeared in front of them. They felt pity for that disciple. Just because he had said something was unfair, he had been thrown out. With how large the eastern wasteland was, it was unknown if he would be able to find his way back. HMPH. He should count himself lucky. This place is still above the eastern wasteland. With his cultivation base, he has a high chance of being able to live to find a cultivation city and return to the Zuanshan Dao sect a bit further and we'd have entered the region of the Martial Heaven Sea. Then he'd have died. I don't care if you're a newcomer or an old disciple. You better all remember that rules are rules. When you don't have the power to break them, be well behaved, said Elder Shaw. This was Long Chen's first time feeling that Elder Shaw wasn't so dislikable, although his refusal to compromise or bend was displeasing. After this event, Long Chen realized that he should simply be a stubborn old man. He was the kind of person who followed the rules no matter what. Although this kind of person wasn't someone easy to like, he also wouldn't cause others to feel too much dislike for him. Now that he understood his temper, things would be much easier. Did you hear him? Elder Shah has said that as long as we don't break the rules, anything goes. Whoever wants to go challenge them can go ahead. Don't miss this opportunity. It's not just any time that you can beat the senior generation disciples. Furthermore, while you beat them, they can't even release their true power and can only use the sea expansion realm's power. Whether it's for tempering yourself or probing how strong the experts from the central plains are, it's a great opportunity. Brothers, what are you waiting for? Said Long Chen. His words caused the senior disciples to be infuriated. Why was it that at their generation, things were reversed? When they had come to the central plains, they had been bullied. Now that they finally had a chance to repay the favor and teach a lesson to these brats, they were once more the bullied targets. One of the Dragonblood warriors jumped onto the martial stage and pointed at a senior disciple, directly challenging him. With Elder Shah present, that disciple didn't dare to hesitate. He immediately jumped onto the martial stage and began a fierce fight with the Dragonblood warrior. But what startled everyone was that the Dragonblood warrior didn't release his spirit blood. He fought without it. Why aren't you activating your spirit blood? Are you looking down on me? Shouted the senior disciple. He felt like he was being looked down upon. He would rather be defeated than suffer this insult. Since you can't use your full power, then I'll also hold back. Furthermore, I'm a rank 3 celestial while you're only rank 2. 
I already have such an advantage. So if I activated my spirit blood, it would be unfair. Let me see just how strong the experts of the central planes are. Even if I lose, I won't use my spirit blood, said the dragon blood warrior. Runes filled the air as his fists danced. Other than not using his spirit blood, he wasn't holding back at all. Elder Shah's expression was still icy, but a bit of praise appeared in his eyes. It was rare to see such a courageous disciple. Hearing this, the people who had fought before immediately felt regret. Other than some satisfaction from being posers, they had gained nothing. The right decision was to see just how strong the Central Plains experts were. Hey, what are you all looking at me for? When you were being posers, you looked so happy. Now you want to push all the responsibility on me. Guo Ran glared back at the few people that were glaring at him. Those people didn't say anything. They just watched the battle. That Dragonblood Warrior's cultivation base was at the fifth vestige of sea expansion, and three colored runes revolved around him. As for the senior disciple, his cultivation base was suppressed to the peak of sea expansion. With each wave of his hand, runes shot out. His techniques were extremely refined. This was the skillful control of a foundation forging expert. The Dragonblood Warrior's expressions grew graver as the battle progressed because they were now at a disadvantage. The power of these senior disciples was now finally showing. Although their cultivation bases had been suppressed, their skill in magical arts was unmatched. They came in an unending stream with almost no cast time and left no openings between their moves. The Dragonblood Warrior exchanged over a hundred blows against the senior disciple, testing all kinds of methods, but was unable to escape from his disadvantageous position. Suddenly, he shouted, Be careful! A saber appeared within his hand. A fierce aura sword and berserk killing intent caused everyone to turn cold. His saber slashed out three times in a row, each time shattering his opponent's attack. On the third time, it blasted through his opponent's runic shield and stopped less than an inch from his head. A drop of blood fell from the senior disciple's head. That quiet sound struck like a hammer in all the senior disciples' hearts. The instant the dragonblood warrior had brought out that saber, it had felt like he had transformed into a bloodthirsty fiend. His boundless killing intent had shaken them to their core. The senior disciple had been terrified and instantly defeated. Seeing this, Long Chen couldn't help but shake his head. They were more like greenhouse flowers that possessed power but couldn't release it. It went without saying that the Central Plains experts were powerful. But when it came to the firmness of their wills, they were much weaker than the Dragonblood Warriors. You've lost. How boring. You didn't lose to me, but to the terror in your heart. The Dragonblood Warrior shook his head and returned to his side. That senior disciple remained on the martial stage for a long time, and only after a while did he react. He turned completely red when he realized the meaning of his words. When the Dragonblood Warrior had released his killing intent, the senior disciple had been enveloped by a sensation of death. In that instant, the first thing he had thought of was to flee, but then he immediately thought to himself that his opponent wouldn't dare to kill him. However, what if he did end up dying? His head had been a complete mess. That made him ashamed. Now he didn't even feel like a cultivator, or a man. Elder Shaw didn't say a word. He stood there like a statue, but he also didn't leave. Following the senior disciples' defeat, the Dragonblood Warriors began a series of challenges. Some of them even said that they wouldn't kill them so they could attack as they pleased. But whenever the Dragonblood Warriors released their killing intent, it made it impossible for their opponents to believe that. Feeling that killing intent enveloping them, the senior disciples were unable to release even 80% of the power they should have been able to. Over 10 of them were defeated in a row. The Dragonblood Warriors were starting to get less excited, feeling like such a battle didn't have any meaning. Long Chen had long since told them not to fight any meaningless battles. The reason they were fighting now was merely to test the strength of the Central Plains experts. But now the senior disciples were too terrified to fight. Originally. They had thought that the threat of death would allow the senior disciples to release their true power, thinking it would be oil on fire, but instead, it was like water on fire, and their flames had extinguished. So what was the point of still fighting? The Dragonblood Warriors lost the desire to fight. The other experts had an urge to fight, but then they also didn't dare to. If you don't even dare to lose, what qualifications do you have to win? Said one of the Dragonblood Warriors. That encouragement finally tipped the scales. Someone immediately went up to fight. As a result, he was beaten in just a moment. But now, a loss was just a loss, and he didn't suffer any humiliation. In the past, the newcomers would all be bullied by the senior generation in order to grind down their sharpness. 
it was to avoid them being arrogant once they arrived in the central plains and refusing to be managed. But this generation was different. These senior disciples didn't dare to go too far now. They were afraid of provoking the Dragonblood warriors. The ordinary disciples weren't a match for the senior disciples. While the Dragonblood warriors weren't interested in wasting time on the senior disciples, the atmosphere became a bit awkward. You, girl, do you dare to fight me without activating your spirit blood? Suddenly, Wang Mang, who had been silent throughout these proceedings, jumped onto the martial stage and challenged Men Qi, courting death. Wang Mang's actions immediately infuriated the Dragonblood warriors. Men Qi was always peaceful, isolating herself from battles whenever she could. She was like a fairy beyond the mundane world. Furthermore, she was clearly a soul cultivator. For Wang Mang to dare to challenge a soul cultivator, he definitely had a protective soul item. Combined with the limited space of the martial arena, he had an immense advantage over Men Qi. He was truly sinister. Wang Mang, I don't know if you are really this stupid or you were bribed by someone, but you've succeeded in infuriating me. How about this, Wang Mang? I'll give you a chance. I, Long Chen possess no spirit blood, nor am I a celestial. I'll fight you. You can use your full power and not suppress your cultivation base at all. We'll have a life and death battle, said Long Chen coldly, toward other people's insults, disdain, and contempt. Long Chen could brush it off with a laugh, but he didn't allow others to touch his reverse scale. Everyone jumped in fright, especially those senior disciples. They looked in horror at Long Chen. Was he crazy? He wanted to challenge the foundation forging Wang Man to a life and death battle? Only the Dragonblood warriors had excited expressions as they all looked forward to seeing Long Chen fight. Each time, they would feel their blood boiling. Wang Mang's expression changed, because in that instant, a terrifying sensation of death rose in his heart. That feeling was like a death god was staring at him. That is against the rules. It is not permitted, said Elder Shaw, his voice icy without the slightest emotion. Chapter 971 Extorting a Confession Translator Born to be Long Chen Let me handle it I know what to do Men Qi slowly walked forward She floated onto the martial stage Her white robes and black hair billowing She looked like she had walked right out of a painting Appearing indescribably graceful and sacred Seeing Men Qi come onto the martial stage Wang Mang's heart shook A bad feeling rose within him He had long since thoroughly examined the disciples from the eastern wasteland Men Qi had very weak heavenly Dao fluctuations, and she seemed harmless. Furthermore, she was a soul cultivator, and so he thought her to be the weakest target in the Dragonblood Legion. But once Men Qi came onto the martial stage, despite her appearing tranquil and calm, an intense feeling of unease appeared in Wang Mang's heart. Wang Mang, you shouldn't have tried to use me to infuriate Long Chen. From your eyes, I can see your greed and guess your goal. For you to want to provoke Long Chen so much. You're clearly using your position for selfish purposes. You have a hidden agenda that's enough. Senior disciples teaching the new disciples is the tradition of the Zhuanshan Dao sect you can't change it. So don't waste so many words. Shouted Wang Mang. But anyone with sharp eyes could tell he was putting on a fierce act to hide his panic. Men Qi had clearly guessed right. I was just warning you out of the kindness of my heart. But since you don't want to be grateful, forget about it. Be careful because an underworld soul magical armor won't provide you with much safety. Men Qi shook her head. Underworld soul magical armor. The senior disciples were startled, while the eastern wasteland's disciples didn't know what it was. This armor was something that came from a magical beast only the size of an ordinary ox. Its body was in the shape of a pangolin, but its scales were exquisite and practically transparent. It was an extremely rare magical beast capable of soul energy attacks. Its hide could be manufactured into a soul item that could make someone practically immune to spiritual attacks. That was because its spiritual strength was stored in every one of its scales. And those scales possessed shocking absorptive properties. However, underworld soul magical beasts were extremely rare, as well as crafty. They were sensitive to danger, which made their armor exceedingly precious. It was unexpected for Wang Mang to be able to possess such a rare thing. What was even more unexpected was that Men Qi could see through her opponent's trump card before even attacking. So what if you know about the underworld soul magical armor? You'll still be helpless against me. Wang Mang was startled, but there was no way for him to stop now. With a shout, he charged at Men Qi. Three colored runes formed a sea around him, forming hand seals. A huge runic spear condensed in the air and shot toward her. Bastard. The dragonblood warriors became even more infuriated. 
This bastard instantly used his full power in such a terrifying move. He was going too far against a soul cultivator. Suddenly, a row rang out. A huge claw smashed down, shattering the runic spear. A huge earth dragon appeared. It opened its mouth, spurting out golden flames that enveloped Wang Mang instantly. You're a beast tamer. Wang Mang was startled. He hastily condensed a runic barrier around himself against the earth dragon's flames. He had only just blocked the earth dragon's flames when a bird cry rang out. A Rede sacred blood phoenix appeared above him and its true feather rose. The runes on its feather circulated and a red light suddenly shot out. Wang Mang's barrier shattered and the red ray continued. Wang Mang was horrified. This was no spiritual attack, and his armor had no effect against it. It would take his life like this. The Rede sacred blood phoenix had reached the 8th rank under Menki's care. Furthermore, since Menki could direct it, its divine ability was now able to achieve many times the effect of it attacking alone. This was the most terrifying aspect of beast tamers. A magical beast wasn't frightening, but a magical beast with intelligence was, especially one being controlled by a beast tamer. Although the magical beast's intelligence was low, their divine abilities were hereditary. When adding on the technique and timing of the beast tamer's direction, their power was brought to a pinnacle. Zuan scale armor. At this life and death juncture, Wang Mang couldn't have so many misjivings. He released his foundation forging cultivation base, forming a huge runic shield to block this attack. He had no choice but to go all out, because using a sea expansion cultivation base, this defense of his wouldn't have been summoned fast enough. Only by using a foundation forging cultivation base had he been able to instantaneously use this magical art. Boom. Shockingly, the runic shield Wang Mang summoned with his foundation forging cultivation base also shattered upon being struck. But fortunately, the red ray also disappeared. Before Wang Mang could even sigh with relief, a huge tail swung over. That was the earth dragon's tail. Under Menki's control, the timing was perfect. By the time Wang Mang sensed it, he had already been struck. Wang Mang wildly vomited blood, feeling like his body was about to be torn apart. He flew back. Be suppressed. Menki's soul suppressing tower appeared, and it descended, smashing into Wang Mang's body. When the soul suppressing tower rose once more, everyone was horrified to find that Wang Mang had been turned practically flat, like a housefly that had been slapped against the wall. However, he hadn't died. His body was flat, but his head remained. That was the result of Menki being merciful, or it was unknown how many times over he would have died. But his underworld soul magical armor was shattered. Everyone was silent, even the dragon blood warriors. They had never seen Menki use such domineering techniques. Previously, when Menki killed people, her enemies would always lay on the ground like they were simply sleeping. It was never so bloody. You challenged me in order to infuriate Long Chen. I really can't understand why you people would be so stupid as to constantly test Long Chen's bottom line. He's tired, and he's suffered enough. His shoulders are under enough weight, but you still want to step on him. Since you're so foolish, then I also won't mind dyeing my hands with blood and becoming a bloodthirsty devil. Menki indifferently looked at the terrified Wang Mang who was lying in a pool of his own blood. Menki was always tranquil and never liked fighting, but then Little Snow had died. Long Chen's heartbroken cry showed just how powerless and aggrieved he had felt. That scene was deeply imprinted in her heart. On that day, she swore to no longer be a benevolent woman. She wanted to share Long Chen's burden, and if she had to become a blood-soaked devil to do so, she didn't mind. In the cultivation world, there was no clear yardstick for right and wrong, kind or cruel. Now, she no longer cared. She was tired of caring about what was right and what was wrong. What she wanted was to protect Long Chen. Long Chen had given them so much that it was too much. He was tired, and what Menki wanted was to share as much of his burden as she could. Looking at Menki's face, her words echoed in Long Chen's heart and he felt a warm current inside. He was indescribably grateful to have such women, as well as slightly distressed. He felt like he had wronged them by having them by his side. Speak, why did you target us? Demanded Menki, looking at the flat lump on the ground. She had no pity for him. I... I am following the rules. Ah, Wang Mang wanted to quibble when a burst of pain erupted from his soul. It was like millions of needles were piercing him. Elder Shaw, save me, he wailed. Elder Shaw didn't move. His expression was still cold as he indifferently said, that wouldn't be in accordance with the rules. As the challenger, you have to take responsibility once you lose. I, I'm going to die. She wants to kill me. You, you're just watching as I die. 
Wang Mang was constantly wailing from the pain Meng Qi was causing him, but his body was unable to move. According to the rules, once you die, I will cancel her qualifications to join the Zhuangshan Dao sect, said Elder Sha indifferently. It was like nothing could interest him. Release me, release me, I'll tell you. It was a senior apprentice brother from the law enforcement hall. He told me to take care of you. Wang Mang finally submitted. Law enforcement hall. Long Chen and the others instantly understood. This should be something caused by Lu Minghan. But that also seemed wrong. Lu Minghan should understand Long Chen's power. So why would he send people to their deaths? After thinking about it for a bit, Long Chen understood. This was definitely related to how Li Changfeng had captured Lu Minghan. Two elders fighting would definitely cause a wave in the Zhuangshan Dao sect. And most likely, the disciples from the law enforcement hall had gotten wind of it. Wanting to suck up to Lu Minghan. They had told Wang Mang to take care of Long Chen and the others. Without even thinking about it, it was obvious Wang Mang had to have received quite some benefits from those people to follow their orders. Otherwise, without having received a heavy bribe, there was no way he would continue to antagonize Long Chen by challenging Meng Qi once he had seen how strong the dragon blood warriors were. Most likely, he had just wanted to embarrass Long Chen a bit, then he could report his success back. After all, not doing work after being paid was no good, but this work's price was extremely great, almost costing his life. Long Chen snorted coldly, his gaze swept through the other senior disciples, causing their hair to stand on end. It has nothing to do with us, we had no idea, cried those disciples in terror. Now that this matter was done, Elder Sha turned to leave, but Long Chen suddenly said, Disciple has some things he would like to ask. Elder Sha, can you teach me? Chapter 972 The Unimaginable Central Plains Translator Born to be Long Chen hastily stopped Elder Sha upon seeing he was about to leave. He had many things he wanted to ask this elder, but he just hadn't had an opportunity Noveloon.com Elder Sha frowned slightly. What things? Just some matters pertaining to the Central Plains and the Zhuangshan Dao sect, said Long Chen. According to the rules, elders truly do have the responsibility to answer pertinent questions asked by disciples. Go ahead. Everyone was surprised that Elder Shah didn't refuse. Those senior disciples were especially perplexed. This Elder Shah was incredibly cold. On the way here, he hadn't spoken more than three times. But Long Chen had seen through Elder Shah's character after a few interactions. Although Elder Shah's cultivation base was terrifying, as a person, he was very straightforward. He did everything according to the rules. The reason he didn't speak much wasn't because he was acting arrogant. Long Chen had misjudged him previously. Some senior disciples helped peel Wang Mang off the martial stage. They gave him medicinal pills, and he circulated his heavenly Dao energy to heal. His body quickly inflated as he recovered. Meng Qi's last move had been too vicious, so for him to fully recover would take a certain amount of time. That was because Meng Qi was also a celestial, and her attacks contained heavenly Dao energy, which made the wound harder to heal. Everyone hastily grouped up to listen upon hearing that Elder Shah was answering questions. They respectfully stood around him, even the senior disciples. Go ahead and ask them your questions first. If they can't answer, I will, said Elder Shah, indicating Long Chen to ask the senior disciples. He didn't like talking needlessly. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, go ahead and ask anything. We definitely won't hide anything we know, said a senior disciple. No matter how stupid they were. They could tell Long Chen was the most terrifying existence in this group. Although he hadn't fought, considering that he dared to challenge Wang Mang to a life and death match, they all knew he was confident. As for Wang Mang, he had used his foundation forging cultivation base in the end, but still been crushed. Therefore, they didn't dare to look down on Long Chen anymore. Their attitudes had completely reversed. Hearing the senior disciple call Long Chen senior apprentice brother made the others chortle. It was like they were the senior apprentice brothers. As for Elder Shaw, he was indifferent. It was like he had long since known it would be like this. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you might not know this, but other than those with official posts, we all call the stronger one senior. It has nothing to do with cultivation base or age. With your power, there might even be some seniors who are several centuries old who will call you senior apprentice brother, or perhaps even senior, explained that senior disciple. The Eastern Wastelands disciples couldn't help but find this rule odd. The Central Plains was truly different. Long Chen didn't care about such trifles. He got straight to the point. How many days will it take us to get to the Central Plains? Probably three months. 
The senior disciple bitterly smiled. Three months. All the newcomers were startled. Even with this flying boat's terrifying speed, it would still take three months. Yes, and that's if nothing unexpected happens. We have to go over the Marshall Heaven Sea Ring to get the central planes, then go through nine supreme transportation formations before arriving at the Zhuangshan Dao sect. The newcomers took in a breath of cold air, three months of high-speed flying, and nine supreme transportation formations. That was a bit too far, wasn't it? It was no wonder it was said that the eastern wasteland, western desert, southern sea, and northern source were just some wild lands on the border of the continent. Now they learned that all together, they took up less than a fifth of the Martial Heaven continent. The rest of it was the Central Plains. What is the Martial Heaven Sea Ring? Asked Tang Wan'er curiously. The Martial Heaven Sea Ring. That disciple looked toward Elder Shaw. Go ahead. The legends say that. And no one knows if it's true. Said Elder Shaw. Legend says that the Martial Heaven continent underwent a huge war in the Immortal Era. And through a battle of gods and devils. The entire land shattered. A ring-shaped sea formed during that time. It is said that it is the result of a bracelet smashing into the continent. A bracelet? How is that possible? What bracelet would be that big? Demanded Guo Ran. That was simply unimaginable. It's just what the legends say. No one knows for sure as there are no accurate records. These are just legends that can't be trusted. Said the senior disciple awkwardly. Back then, they had also scoffed upon hearing this legend. Just because you haven't seen something doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Legends can't be trusted. But they're not necessarily groundless. The reason we can't believe it is because we haven't reached that realm. Long Chen shook his head. That was because he thought of the eastern wasteland bell. That damaged. Half-dead bell was so strong that king items were like specks of dust in front of it. That had completely shocked Long Chen. Elder Sha looked at him and nodded slightly. This thinking won him a bit of praise. To have such wisdom at such an age was rare. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is right. The Martial Heaven Continent's five great divine items have also never been seen. But who dares to say that they really don't exist? Originally, the Martial Heaven Continent's five parts were around the same size. But once the Martial Heaven Sea Ring formed, the entire continent's terrain changed. The Eastern Wasteland, Western Desert, Southern Sea, and Northern Source became much smaller. Gradually, those four regions became wild lands of no interest to anyone. And thus, the Central Plains became the true cultivation land of the Martial Heaven Continent. The cultivators there are as numerous as grains of sand in a desert. Originally, the four regions had their own unique Dao paths. But when the ring-shaped sea formed around the Central Plains, those four regions lost a great deal of their core. What remains currently is just some bits and pieces, and the true inheritances. Well, you understand, said that disciple awkwardly. Everyone understood. That mysterious bracelet which might not even exist, had caused a ring-shaped sea to form around the central plains. It had caused the most damage to the other four regions, causing a place like the eastern wasteland to be nothing more than a savage, uncivilized land. The central plains has millions and millions of sects, but our Zhuangshan Dao sect is well known even within it. It is on the same level as the heaven-splitting divine sect and heaven-suppressing magical sect they are called the three great heavenly sects, said the disciple proudly. Being able to wear the Zhuangshan Dao sect's robes was clearly something to be proud of. Are the three great heavenly sects able to dominate the central plains? Asked Guo Ran. Ah, uh, probably. No, definitely not, said the disciple. Brother, the central plains is so large that you probably won't understand. Even we, who have stayed in the Zhuangshan Dao sect for a decade, after perusing countless tomes, only understand the slightest bits about the central plains as a whole, said another senior disciple. Sorry, I wasn't trying to argue. It's just that you were making the Zhuangshan Dao sect sound so amazing. So I thought that by wearing the same robes, I'd be something like a ruler of the world, said Guo Ran with no shame. The senior disciples relaxed a great deal. Previously, they had felt these fellows in front of them to be fierce monsters, but now they found that they really were quite easy to talk to. All that can be said is that the Zhuangshan Dao sect can count as above average in the entire Central Plains. Practically everyone in the cultivation world has heard of it. Once you reach the Zhuangshan Dao sect, I guarantee you'll be stupefied by the sect's grandness. It's just that. Just what? Asked Guo Ran. It's just that this time, the eastern wasteland only sent over a pitiful number of disciples. It's the last place amongst the four regions. I remember in the last generation, there were over 20,000. But this time, said a senior disciple curiously, 
The truth was that while the Remote Heaven Gang was powerful and dared to challenge the Branch Suanshan Dao sect, they were unable to stop other sects from sending their disciples over. Every ten years, when the Zuanshan Dao sect was sending disciples over to the Central Plains, there would be a grand celebration. The head sect didn't really care that much about the branch sects as they were just some minor bases. Even disciples that weren't part of those branch sects could use the opportunity once every ten years to try and join the head sect. This was the Zuanshan Dao sect's confidence. They weren't worried about people with evil intent. They were sure that once these disciples arrived in the Central Plains, they would change. Their original intentions would be gone. In the eyes of the head sect, the struggles in the other four regions were insignificant, not worth a second thought. It was like children playing house. In truth, I'm also very curious, said Elder Shaw. Long Chen was startled. Did you not ask sect master Ouyang Kiyuayu? It wasn't in accordance with the rules. Since it is not within the scope of my responsibility, it wasn't convenient to ask, said Elder Shaw. Long Chen almost laughed. This elder Shah really was hidebound by convention. He would rather keep his questions inside than ask. He could be counted as a marvel. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Why are there so few disciples from the eastern wasteland this time? Asked a senior disciple curiously. Oh, um. Long Chen immediately felt awkward. The answer wasn't really convenient to say. The other dragonblood warriors also had awkward expressions. Causing the senior disciples to look at each other. Just what was going on? What is there to be embarrassed about? Weren't they just slaughtered by us? It's not embarrassing. So why bother hiding it? Said Guo Ran unashamedly. What? All the senior disciples were dumbfounded. Unable to believe their ears. But Guo Ran was already telling them a story about how Long Chen had led them to dominate the eastern wasteland. No wonder they sent me this time. I'm from the sect protection pavilion. Originally, I wasn't supposed to be in charge of this matter. Elder Sha came to a sudden comprehension upon hearing how Li Changfen had brought Lu Minghan away. Wang Mang, you should have heard of this matter. Go ahead, tell us. Long Chen coldly stared at Wang Mang, who was in the midst of recovering from his heavy injuries. Chapter 973 Don't forget your original heart translator. Born to be Wang Mang stiffened as he now understood just how pathetic he was. Why had he provoked a fiend like Long Chen? Guo Ran had explained why there were so few disciples from the eastern wasteland, and now he knew what kind of person Long Chen was. This, this isn't my fault. I was, stuttered Wang Mang. What hostility is there between the law enforcement hall and the elders hall, said Long Chen. He wasn't interested in what bribe Wang Mang had received or who had used him. There does seem to be some conflicts between them, but I don't know the specifics, said Wang Mang. How could he, a small disciple? have the qualifications to learn about the matters between the higher-ups. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's interior is extremely complicated. Learning about those things right now won't do anything for you. All you have to remember is that as long as you don't break the rules, you'll be safe. If other people want to fight, that's their issue, said Elder Shaw. No wonder you always talk about the rules, laughed Long Chen. This joke of Long Chen's caused everyone's hearts to shake. Although it was said with laughter. They all felt that it also contained some ridicule. But surprisingly, Elder Shaw didn't get angry. He looked into the distance for a long time before saying, I was once like you as well, young, full of energy and hope for the future. He, Long Chen took over, saying, he, regretfully, things never go as people want. There are always all kinds of obstructions, impediments trapping you like net after net, day after day, year after year, a person eventually gets lost. Some people have long since forgotten their original hearts in the fight for fame, for profit. Then there are some people who end up like senior, becoming a puppet that only knows how to follow the rules. Thinking about it, it really is sad. Long Chen. Men Ki tugged on Long Chen, indicating that he should be careful with his words. He had no enmity with Elder Shaw. So why would he offend him? Even the senior disciples trembled with fear. Long Chen was far too brazen. But what they found curious was that the cold elder Shah didn't get angry at all, nor did he reprimand Long Chen. Instead, he just calmly looked into the distance. The flying boat was still rapidly flying, and the mountains below quickly passed. However, the inside of the flying boat was completely silent. These are the rules. After a long while, elder Shah indifferently tossed out some words. He, disciple doesn't believe so. Rules are things the strong use to control the weak. The strong can infringe upon the rules, and the stronger ones can completely ignore the rules. As for the strongest ones, 
They are the ones who can change the rules whenever they want. In the Phoenix Cry Empire, I was to comply with the Phoenix Cry Empire's rules. In the Zuanshan Monastery, I was to comply with the Zuanshan Monastery's rules. In the Super Monastery, it was the same. But I didn't comply with those rules. Because if I had, I'd have long since died a tragic death. So, once I reach the Central Plains, I'll follow the rules that are favorable to me. But as for those rules that suppress me, I'm afraid that disciple will be unable to comply, said Long Chen. Then you will be mercilessly exterminated, said Elder Shaw. If I'm to be exterminated, then let me be exterminated. None of the Dragonblood Legion's warriors are afraid of death. We have our own principles and our own aspirations. I'm not worried they'll die, but I am worried they'll become the same as Senior, losing themselves within the crushing rules and becoming a walking corpse, sighed Long Chen. The Dragonblood warriors all understood Long Chen's meaning. He was using Elder Shaw as an example of what not to do in order to warn them. Even someone as strong as Elder Shaw had been turned into a machine because of the Zuanshan Deo sect's rules. Rules killed people without them even noticing, erasing a person's will and devouring their ambitions. The most frightful thing about it was that it was like boiling a frog in water. It erased a person's heroism without them sensing the danger. The Dragonblood warriors thought about how they had followed Long Chen from the 108th Monastery to the 36th Super Monastery. And then to the Zuanshan Deo sect hadn't all those monastery heads and all those elders been silently sacrificed to these rules? They had also been young and full of hot blood once, but that hot blood and youthful vigor had been erased without them even knowing it. As a result, they ended up with some tired days of nothing. They schemed against each other in a game of mutual deception, caught in the web the rules had created for them. They had forgotten their original hearts. The 108th Monastery, the 36th Super Monastery, the Eastern Wastelands branch sect, they had been like vats of dye, each bigger and more contaminating than the last. According to that pattern, the Central Plains Zuanshan Deo sect would be an even larger vat of dye. Even kings were silently lost to it. Looking at how a terrifying expert like Elder Shah had been turned into a puppet that was simply doing what he was told, it was like they were seeing their futures, and a cold chill ran through their bodies. If Elder Shah's present was their future, then they would rather die in a blazing fire of passion than become like him. Without goals, cultivation didn't have any meaning. Boss, we'll never forget our original hearts. No matter what realm we cultivate to, no matter what robes we wear, we will still be the same youthful men. If others refuse to allow that, we'll go all out against them, shouted the Dragonblood warriors. They knew that Long Chen was warning them to forever maintain their passion, their fervor. Are you using me as an example of what not to do? said Elder Shaw indifferently, but there was clearly a slightly bitter tone to his voice. Sorry, disciple was rude. Long Chen bowed slightly. He did feel a bit apologetic. There was no way around that. Through Elder Shaw's words, Long Chen felt that the Zuanshan Deo sect was definitely a muddled place. That reduced his excitement and anticipation by quite a bit. The Central Plains was definitely the playing field of the world's experts, but this beautiful field was constructed through the bones of countless geniuses. It was unknown how much merciless killing was behind it. Long Chen didn't wish for the Dragonblood Legion to become lost in these kinds of ideas. Once they were lost, it would be difficult to extricate them. That kind of ending was a sad one as well. If he wanted the Dragonblood Legion to stay complete, he had to lead them forward without hesitation and without submitting to anyone, including those unreasonable rules. Fighting against the rules might cause the entire Legion to be destroyed, but they had to have that courage. They had to have the courage to risk their lives, to show their fangs, and only then would they be able to establish themselves within the Central Plains. Otherwise, they would be devoured by the countless heavenly geniuses present. Elder Shaw sighed. The younger generation will surpass the old. Perhaps that kind of mentality is a good one. After saying that, Elder Shaw turned and left, his figure appearing a bit lonely. But he also clearly didn't have a good opinion of Long Chen's conduct. Perhaps it was because he had experienced a great deal and seen plenty of geniuses who had ended up with tragic endings. And so he was already weary. Looking at his departing figure hardened the Dragonblood Warriors' hearts even more. They even felt that Elder Shaw was pitiful. He was someone who had been trampled by the rules. At the same time, they had to admire Long Chen for his vision. As the rudder of the Dragonblood Legion, Long Chen didn't just need unrevealed power, but he also needed exceptional wisdom. Those senior disciples were deeply shaken. Looking at the Dragonblood Warriors' fervent gazes, they felt like they were being affected as well. How many disciples were there in total from the four regions last time? 
asked Long Chen. There were over 370,000, said the senior disciple. How many? Long Chen couldn't believe his ears. A bit more than 370,000, the disciple repeated. 370,000? All of whom were sea expansion celestials? This number gave Long Chen a fright. It was no wonder they said that the eastern wasteland was the weakest region. Of over 370,000 people, only 20,000 had come from the eastern wasteland. That proportion made him speechless. There must have been quite a few heavenly geniuses amongst your generation, correct? Asked Long Chen. Yes, there truly were many. They were practically monsters, inhuman. We can only look up to them. That senior disciple bitterly smiled, clearly having received a great impact. Of those 370,000 disciples, although these senior disciples couldn't count as the weakest, they had still been on the edge of being washed out. They couldn't even count as elites, let alone heavenly geniuses. The most infuriating thing was that the Zhuanshan Dao sect's rules allowed many loopholes for senior disciples to bully them, and they could only endure it. This time, they had been sent to greet the newcomers. Originally, they had been hoping to vent some of their resentment, but instead it was the newcomers who gave them a warm welcome. After talking for so long, everyone became much more familiar with each other. The senior disciples didn't dare to be arrogant any longer. Instead, they began to talk with the Dragonblood warriors subtly fawning over them. They found that each one of these dragonblood warriors possessed extremely dense spirit blood. Such people would find it no problem to pass the trials and join the Zhuanshan Dao sect they should all become inner sect disciples. These senior disciples were no more than outer sect disciples. They probably wouldn't be able to go to the inner sect in their lifetime. So forming good relationships with the dragonblood warriors might bring them endless benefits. Even Wang Mang ran over to Long Chen to apologize cursing himself for being deceived by other people's lies. He even said that he deserved a thousand deaths for his actions. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to quibble with him. This was nothing serious to him, and he didn't bother pressing him for more details. Now that everyone was familiar with each other, they once more went out to exchange pointers. But this time, it was a friendly competition where both sides used their full power. The Dragonblood Warriors used their spirit blood while the senior disciples no longer suppressed their cultivation basis. These new battles were exceptionally intense. What startled the senior disciples was the fact that the Dragonblood warriors were shockingly powerful. In these intense battles, the killing intent they released made it seem like this was no exchange of pointers. It felt like they would kill them at any moment, but there were some senior disciples capable of fighting through the sensation of death. They released their true power, and in this kind of battle, the Dragonblood Warriors were truly one level weaker. But if it was a true life and death battle, then that would have been a completely different matter. On the seventh day, the scenery around them completely changed. The mountains and plains vanished, replaced by a vast roaring sea. Chapter 974 Rampaging Sea Demons Translator Born to be a roaring sea appeared below the flying boat, stretching into the horizon without end. The blue water frothed and raged, with huge waves bigger than mountains crashing down. The Eastern Wasteland's disciples had never seen such a thing. In front of this huge sea, they felt themselves to be incredibly minuscule. Is this martial heaven sea ring very dangerous? Asked Guo Ran nervously. Very dangerous. In fact, the martial heaven sea ring is one of the seven great danger zones. Although it's ring shaped, just going through its width would take a full week of full speed flying. Sea demons run amok within the sea, and they are exceptionally dangerous. In order to avoid disturbing powerful sea demons, we can't fly at full speed over it and can only stealthily slip our way through, explained the senior disciple. Seven great danger zones, the central plains is extremely large, and even we only know that the martial heaven sea ring is one of the seven danger zones. Fortunately, it's very large, and so the danger is scattered, making it less fearful. However, it truly is one of the seven danger zones, and every time you fly over it, you have to be careful. Using a smaller flying boat would actually be better, because it doesn't draw as much attention. But our flying boat is too big, and it's all too easy for powerful sea demons to notice us. If it was just ordinary sea demons, it'd be fine. Even if we ran into king-level sea demons, in other words, ninth rank sea demons, there would be nothing to fear. But if we meet sea demons above that, it'll be troublesome, said the senior disciple. Each year, countless flying boats disappeared over the martial heaven sea ring and no one dared to guarantee being able to pass it with absolute safety. Sea demons? As in, magical beasts that live within the sea, 
asked Guo Ran. You can put it like that, but they do have some differences from ordinary magical beasts. They have no crystal cores, but they have an Eden inside that is even more valuable. However, sea demons are stronger and fiercer than magical beasts. It's unknown just how many terrifying sea demons are hidden within the depths of the sea. Boom. Suddenly, the flying boat shook intensely, causing everyone to reel. The flying boat fiercely tilted. No need to worry, it's just the storm zone. This is just some minor turbulence. This area is where the land's air stream clashes with the sea's air stream. In truth, this storm zone is the safest part of the martial heaven sea ring, said the disciple. How do you mean? Because this area doesn't have sea demons, as they don't like this environment, that makes it the safest. The storm zone wasn't very large. After just an hour's flying, they passed it. A beautiful, sunny sky appeared in front of them, one without any clouds. The sea was calm with only slight waves. It was a beautiful and peaceful scene. But as soon as they arrived here, the senior disciples tensed. The flying boat also slowed down, making less of a disturbance as it flew. Without any warning, a ripple appeared on the sea. A head bigger than a mountain broke through the surface of the water, and a huge spout of water smashed into the flying boat. The flying boat was struck and catapulted through the air. The people inside all became dizzy. What is that? asked Guo Ran. Cyan scaled monsters. They're extremely loathsome, as they enjoy attacking things that are flying over the water. If smaller flying boats are seen by them, then the attacks they unleash might destroy the whole boat. However, smaller boats were also harder to see, so there was less chance of being struck. Thus, they actually had quite an advantage. But the Zhuanshan Dao sect couldn't send one, because they hadn't known how many people they would be bringing back, for their mountain-sized flying boat to fly over the water. They truly were very eye-catching. Then why not have the flying boat fly higher? Then wouldn't they be able to avoid the sea demon's attacks? A good idea, but it won't work. The martial heaven sea ring is extremely strange. Up in the air, there are strange laws. The higher the flying boats go, the greater the resistance. It'll cause loud rumbling and be even less safe. Everyone couldn't help being startled. This martial heaven sea ring was too bizarre. They were nervous, as well as a bit excited. The flying boat was constantly shaken as occasional water spouts struck it. It was constantly forced to tumble through the air, making everyone lightheaded. It was difficult to bear. Fuck, is there an end to this? Cursed Guo Ran. He felt nauseated. Endure it. Once we're past this region, it'll be smoother. It was the same for us when we came, comforted a senior disciple. In truth, they all found this unbearable. It was like they were stuck in a ball, and the sea demon's attacks were like kicks to the ball. Each time they were struck, it made them feel worse. Menki had it the worst. Tang Wan'er was supporting her, but within the flying boat, she wasn't able to help much at all. As a soul cultivator, Menki's body was too weak. Her face was pale, causing Long Chen distress. Unable to bear it anymore, he stood up and said, Elder Shaw, release the defenses. I'll make them scram. You have a method. Elder Shaw was controlling the flying boat. In truth, he was also uncomfortable. But there was no way around this. Yes. Long Chen nodded. Elder Sha hesitated for a moment but then said. This region isn't very peaceful. You can't kill them. Or the blood will draw more powerful sea demons. This was precisely the reason why he hadn't just attacked them. Don't worry. I understand. Fine. Elder Sha waved his hand. And the transparent barrier around the flying boat dissipated. Long Chen appeared at the front of the boat. Everyone else was tightly holding onto the flying boat. Now that the defenses had scattered, if they were struck, then when they were blown into the air, there would be nothing to keep them on the flying boat. Long Chen extended a hand, and a ball of lightning formed. Countless lightning runes circulated within it, releasing an ear-piercing rumble. The senior disciples were shocked. Even Elder Shah's expression changed. Heavenly Tribulation Lightning? How can he control the Nine Heavens Tribulation Lightning? Long Chen tossed the lightning ball into the sea. It disappeared. And following that, countless mountain-sized bodies floated to the surface of the sea. They're all unconscious. Only now did everyone get a chance to get a good look at the cyan-scaled monsters. Their bodies were huge and protected by layers of scales. They looked like prawns, except that their bodies were absolutely huge. And there was a large cavity on their heads which they launched their attacks from. They accumulated water in their bodies. And through compression, they released their water spouts with extremely great power. However. They were extremely weak to thunder force. Long Chen had originally just been trying to drive them away. He hadn't expected that they would all fall unconscious from this lightning ball. 
I'll open a space and draw the cyan scaled monsters into the flying boat. Kill them within the flying boat. And remember not to let them bleed. Their needons contain pure water essence and are very valuable. Once we return to the Zuanchen Deo sect, you'll be able to exchange them for the resources you need. Looking at the hundreds of cyan scaled monsters on the surface of the water, Elder Shaw couldn't help but do a little rule breaking. At this time, it was better to avoid unnecessary trouble however. Perhaps it was because he had been influenced by Long Chen, but he felt like wasting these cyan scaled monsters was too regretful. He activated one of the flying boat's functions, and rays of light shot down, like hands drawing them into the flying boat. The space inside the flying boat was much greater than what it appeared on the outside. Long Chen and the others didn't know what was going on, but they saw the senior disciples were delighted. The senior disciples killed the sea demons with spiritual strength and told Long Chen that other than their rations, they could also exchange resources they had gathered for resources they needed within the Zuantan Deo sect's pavilions. As outer sect disciples, the amount of resources they could gather was limited, so they needed to work hard to get them. In truth, coming out to pick up the Eastern Wasteland's disciples was a lucrative mission, other than their task to blunt the newcomer's arrogance. Within a relatively safe zone in the Martial Heaven Sea Ring, they could hunt a few sea demons and exchange them for resources they needed. Before even reaching the hunting zone, they had already obtained this many cyan scaled monsters. They were incredibly excited, because according to the rules, the resources obtained during the journey would be split amongst everyone. This was a typical case of first giving a slap and then giving a candy. First, the senior disciples were to give the newcomers a beating, and then to avoid them getting depressed the senior disciples would hunt down sea demons and split the profits with them. This psychological tactic tempered the newcomers' arrogance and gave them newfound hope for their futures. It was quite the routine, but now it was different from before. It wasn't the newcomers profiting from the senior disciples. Instead, they were all profiting from Long Chen. They continued on their way. As long as more cyan scaled monsters appeared, Long Chen would toss out a lightning ball and knock them unconscious. Thunder Force was their bane and in front of it, their combat power was essentially zero. The flying boat peacefully flew along. Everyone wished for more attacks now so they could get more profit. I don't care about the Needons, but don't throw out the meat. Leave it for wild, said Long Chen. Long Chen saw that the senior disciples only took in the Needons, but they tossed aside the meat like it was trash. However, those corpses were what Long Chen and Wild wanted. Another couple hours passed and they had flown out of the region of the cyan scaled monsters but the amount of needons they had gathered caused the senior disciples to smile ear to ear. Chapter 975 Hunting Region Translator Born to be senior apprentice brother Long Chen, were rich, exclaimed Wang Mang excitedly. They had gathered over 3,000 needons, splitting it equally. Each one of them would get six. That was extremely great wealth. Wang Mang had long since recognized and accepted the situation. After apologizing profusely to Long Chen and Meng Qi, he treated them all exceptionally respectfully, and due to the principle of not beating a smiling face, no one bothered quibbling with him over his actions. Everyone was familiar with each other and had forgotten about their previous hostility. Having obtained this many needons, they were all happy. These science scaled monsters were huge, but in truth, they were only 7th rank. However, within their homeland of the sea, their power was comparable to 8th rank magical beasts, that made their needons even more valuable. In just a while, their profit was equivalent to half a year's rations in the Zuanchen Deo sect. The senior disciples were incredibly excited, and at the same time, their reverence for Long Chen grew. However, Long Chen didn't feel much. Although these cyan scaled monsters' needons were valuable, he was an alchemist. He didn't lack this money. Furthermore, he had fought countless battles on his cultivation journey. There was one sentence that could sum up his experience battle was the quickest way of getting rich. Although Long Chen had left behind a portion of the profits he had obtained in the Eastern Wasteland to the Zuanchen Deo sect and Yu Ziaokian, he wasn't lacking money. He had Yuan Spirit Stones, Peak Grade Divine Mortal Molting Elixir, and 10,000 Spirit Blood. They were all priceless treasures. And even if he didn't have such things, he also had his powerful alchemy skills. By refining a few rare pills, the money would flow in. Furthermore, he was currently cooperating with Zhen Wenlong. He brought the pill formulas, while Zhen Wenlong brought the manpower and means. He shouldn't be lacking money in the future. After passing through that region, Elder Shaw had once more summoned the flying boat's barrier. Although they occasionally encountered a sea demon's attack on their way, 
their power wasn't strong and their numbers were low. They could essentially ignore those attacks. The flying boat continued for a full day and night before it began to slow down and came to a stop. We've arrived at the hunting region. Wang Mang and the others were delighted. They had clearly been waiting just for this. This hunting region was something that generations of people had determined through countless years of experimentation with travel routes. People found that there weren't powerful sea demons in this region. So this became the Zhuangshan Dao sect's hunting region when returning from the eastern wasteland to the central plains. Different flying boats used different flying routes. Smaller boats could go in a straight line since they wouldn't draw the attention of sea demons. That made it so that smaller flying boats could cross the sea much faster than larger ones. Huge flying boats had to go in a twisting path to avoid the territories of strong sea demons. This particular route was something the Zhuangshan Dao sect had decided upon through countless trials. They had a certain understanding of the distribution of the powerful sea demons, and this region was a relatively safe one. They could undergo a short period of hunting here. Then, before they drew the attention of stronger sea demons, they were to immediately leave. Normally, this short period lasted three days. They hadn't hunted on the way here to avoid trouble on the way back, so this opportunity was something they had to properly grasp. The flying boat stopped above the sea. Wang Mang and the others had already made their preparations, and they began to cast bait into the sea. This bait could draw over sea demons from thousands of miles away. Fellow disciples, let's go all out when the sea demons arrive. This is a benefit the sect gives us, and no matter how much we get, it'll be split equally between us. It's a rare opportunity, so work hard to kill more sea demons. We can only stay here for three days, said Wang Mang to everyone. Normally, he would have ordered them but now he didn't dare to do so. Isn't slaughtering sea demons like this going too far? They didn't provoke us, said Menki. She was somewhat unwilling to undergo such a large-scale slaughter of the sea demons. After all, as a beast tamer, she didn't want the sea demons to be slaughtered so recklessly. Senior apprentice sister, this time you're wrong. They aren't innocent. They're the scourge of the entire martial heaven continent, said a disciple. You were in the eastern wasteland, but you must have heard of beast tides. Right, yes, Menki nodded. Beast tides were truly terrifying events. When the numbers of magical beasts grew too high, they would widen their territory, and that would inevitably clash with the human territory. Countless magical beasts would charge into human cities, terrifying everyone. The eastern wasteland's beast tide that you've heard of is nothing compared to when the sea demons attack. There are countless sea demons in the martial heaven sea ring, and every few years, they will gather on the shore and charge at the continent. If a region isn't able to hold them, they will kill countless innocents. When I was young, I barely escaped from those sea demons, but the rest of my family died to them, said that disciple. Looking back at his memories of that time, pain flashed through his eyes. He continued, there are just too many sea demons, and only by continuously slaughtering them can we barely maintain an equilibrium. That's why all the Central Plains powers will encourage hunting sea demons. Some sects even have hunting targets. So you shouldn't feel any guilt for this. Compared to the magical beasts on the land, sea demons are all cold-blooded, merciless, and emotionless. How strange. Then the sea demons only attack the central plains and not the other four regions asked Guo Ran. That's because of the storm zones. The storm zones only exist on the side of the eastern wasteland and other regions. Due to the spiritual key of the central plains, no such storm zones exist. In truth, the only reason why the eastern wasteland Western Desert, Southern Sea, and Northern Source are able to survive is because of the storm zones. The Central Plains has its hands full just dealing with their own defenses, so no one would reinforce the outer four regions. Those four regions are nothing more than four villages for the Central Plains, explained the disciple. Boom. Suddenly, the surface of the sea erupted. A huge figure soared into the sky, charging for the flying boat. Everyone looked and saw it was a giant fish 300 meters long but its mouth took up the majority of its body. Looking at its aura, it should have reached the sixth rank. Wang Mang waved his hand, and a golden light pierced through the fish's head. It was instantly killed. As soon as it was killed, a senior disciple slashed apart its body and took out a large needon from it. When the needon was extracted, it was the size of a house. But once it was exposed to the air, it rapidly shrunk until it was the size of a fist. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen you can hold this along with the needons from before. Wang Mang handed the needon to Long Chen, along with a spatial ring. Previously, he had been the one directing people to handle the cyan-scaled monsters, and the needons were in his hands. 
Although these things were to be split equally, he wanted to express that he had no intention of stealing the spotlight from him. You can keep them. Forget about that unpleasant disagreement. We all trust you to handle this, so you can direct everyone. After all, you have the experience. Long Chen shook his head. He couldn't be bothered to spend the effort. The first fish was killed, and its corpse was tossed into the sea. This was done intentionally by Wang Mang so that its blood would draw over more sea demons. Elder Sha stood at the front of the boat, indifferently watching without making a sound. It was like he was an outsider unrelated to any of this. After just a moment, more sea demons began to charge out of the sea. Many of them had strange forms that the newcomers had never imagined. They had never seen such strange life forms. Some of the sea demons were like fish, but they had feet or were covered in barbs. And most curious of all, there was a frog-shaped one with only one eye. All kinds of strange forms appeared, but they had one thing in common, their brutal bloodthirsty nature. The first thing those sea demons did was devour the corpses of their comrades. Then they attacked the flying boat. The chance to get rich has appeared. Everyone, work hard, shouted Wang Mang, forming hand seals. Runes revolved around him. Countless arrows shot through the sea demon's midst. At this time, it was possible to see the true power of the senior disciples. The attacks they unleashed were incomparably refined. Sometimes an arrow would pierce a sea demon's body and directly take out its need and all in one move. That required incredibly precise control. Only the senior disciples took action at first, as they needed to be examples for everyone, teaching them how to effectively kill the sea demons and take out their needons. Different sea demons had needons at different positions. If the newcomers killed sea demons without extracting the needons, it would be a waste. Eventually, the Eastern Wastelands disciples began to help as well. However, as sea expansion disciples, they had only just come into contact with magical arts, so their control was clearly worse. Many sea demon corpses fell into the sea with their needons still inside. Wasted. Wang Mang's expression sank slightly. If this was before, he would have begun cursing these people for being useless. But now he could only endure. However, he felt a great deal of pain. That was money. The reason they were chosen for this mission was because they had planned and schemed for a long time. In fact, some had paid all their wealth as a bribe. If they didn't take advantage of this opportunity, they would end up losing out a great deal. So seeing these disciples hunt so clumsily, he was a bit panicked. Dragonblood warriors, go out as well. Foundation forging brothers, there's no need for you to kill the sea demons. Just extract their needons. We'll be in charge of our own duties, said Long Chen. He had to agree that the Eastern Wasteland's disciples were too clumsy. He saw that Wang Mang's nose had tilted from rage. The dragonblood warriors took out treasure items. Cold rays of light shot out, killing the sea demons. Those sea demons were mostly 6th rank. There were only a few 7th rank ones, making killing them extremely easy. Seeing this, Wang Mang's expression improved slightly. The dragonblood warriors killed each sea demon in just one attack unlike the other disciples from the eastern wasteland. Now he just had to be in charge of collecting the needons, and their efficiency leaked. Two hours later, they had gathered over 300 needons, but they were mostly all 6th rank needons. Long Chen frowned. Wasn't this just nonsense? Just how valuable could such things be? Wang Mang, come over. I need to ask you a few things. Long Chen suddenly beckoned to Wang Mang. Chapter 976 Don't say anything translator. Born to be what is it? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Wang Mang, who was busy directing everyone, hastily ran over. If we continue like this, how much can we get after three days? Asked Long Chen. Ah, that's a bit difficult to say. But in the previous generation, which was when I came, each person obtained plenty of points after exchanging the Needons with the Deo sect for an outer sect disciple like me. That amount would take me five years of hard work to obtain normally, said Wang Mang. It must have cost you a great deal to get such a job. Correct. Long Chen made a gesture with his hand, meaning money. Long Chen had seen this kind of routine many times. Yes, the only reason I could get this mission was because of the help from the law enforcement hall. So senior apprentice brother Long Chen, I truly am sorry, said Wang Mang. I've already said not to bring up that matter again. As long as you don't make yourself my enemy, I won't make things hard on you. If you want to follow me, I also won't treat you badly, said Long Chen directly. He could see that Wang Mang had many misjivings and was afraid he would make things hard on him in the central plains. Then he would really be doomed. But in Long Chen's opinion, he had just been used by others, and he could forgive that. 
If he wanted to join him, then he wouldn't be petty. Everyone could talk openly. Junior disciple greatly admire senior apprentice brother's magnanimity. If the positions were reversed, I wouldn't be able to have such an attitude, said Wang Mang. After talking with Long Chen for this long, he sensed that Long Chen seemed to have the bearing of a king. He didn't put on airs, nor did he boss around others. Instead, he would occasionally joke and curse with the Dragonblood warriors rather coarsely. But the more he acted that way, the more magnanimous he appeared. He was different from the experts Wang Mang had seen in the past. Long Chen possessed a kind of charisma that won him over. Let's get to the important topic. 7th rank Needons should be more valuable than 6th rank ones. Why not draw over more powerful sea demons? Asked Long Chen. It's not that we don't want to, but that we can't. Sea demons normally have their own range of movement. If they don't smell blood, they won't be drawn over. So our profit is mostly up to luck, said Wang Mang. That's what it was? Then if we ended up drawing 8th rank sea demons, or even 9th rank sea demons, what would happen? Asked Long Chen. That's impossible. 8th rank sea demons rarely appear, and 9th rank sea demons are on the level of a king, said Wang Mang. Be quieter. Just tell me what would happen in that situation, said Long Chen. 8th rank sea demons we can handle, but if a 9th rank sea demon appears, Elder Sha won't just stand still. He'll end up taking action, said Wang Mang. Then what about the Nidan? Asked Long Chen quietly. Hmm. According to the rules, everything obtained through the hunting is for the disciples. Even if the elder had to interfere, he cannot share in the profit. Senior apprentice brother, you. Wang Mang nervously stared at Long Chen. That's enough. There's nothing else. So just peacefully get rich. Don't talk too much. Long Chen's mind sank into the primal chaos space. He quickly picked over 10 medicinal ingredients, refining them into powder. He also stealthily drew in some essence blood from the sea demons, using the earth flame to refine a special medicinal pill. This pill had no tear. It was Long Chen's own invention, and it didn't really have any value, but it could completely activate the power of the essence blood, and once it was tossed into the water, sea demons would all be drawn by the scent of the essence blood. Long Chen looked at the indifferent elder Sha. A mischievous glint appeared in his eyes. If he had access to such a powerful helper, he should use it. Stealthily dropping the medicinal pill into the sea, he saw that no one noticed his actions. The medicinal pill dissolved and an invisible fluctuation spread. After completing this, Long Chen nonchalantly returned to the front of the bow. That was where Elder Sha was standing, so no one else dared to approach. But Long Chen did. Elder Sha, disciple has something he wishes to ask you. Do you recognize this? Long Chen handed a violet jade pendant to Elder Sha. Elder Sha received it. His pupils shrank. Nine line soul calming jade? And the most precious violet jade one. There's a formation within the jade. This is. Elder Sha's old hand lit up, shining the light onto the jade pendant. Long Chen saw countless speckles appear on the pendant. Although Long Chen didn't understand such things, he knew this was a kind of complicated formation. Does Senior know its origin? Asked Long Chen, his heart skipping a few beats. Elder Sha shook his head. This formation is too complicated. I've never seen it before, and I can't tell its origin. But this jade pendant is not something an ordinary family or power could possess. Nine lines is a representation of status, and considering the violet jade's quality, whatever power it came from is probably something that exceeds your imagination. Elder Sha looked at Long Chen. He had an urge to say something, but in the end, he kept his mouth shut. He returned the pendant back to Long Chen and returned to his indifferent appearance. Long Chen sighed inside. It seemed even Elder Shah's knowledge was limited, but he had still learned a bit. Elder Shah, could you perhaps refer me to a certain direction? Probed Long Chen. The world is large. It requires you to walk it with your own feet. What difference is there whether I answer you or not? Said Elder Shah lightly. Long Chen bitterly smiled. But his words were right. For him to learn about this now didn't really have any meaning. Once he reached that level, he would naturally learn the truth. Before he reached that level. What was the point of knowing? Elder Sha was clearly telling him that he didn't have the qualifications to know such things. Furthermore, Elder Sha strictly followed the rules. He didn't like trouble, and although he had questions inside, he didn't ask them. Of course, that was the main reason Long Chen dared to ask Elder Sha about this, because Elder Sha's mouth was kept tightly shut, making it safe. Originally, Long Chen had wanted to continue questioning Elder Sha and see if he could learn about the structure of the entire martial heaven continent and the distribution of powers. 
but this reply of Elder Shah's clearly showed that asking would be useless. Many thanks, Elder Shah. Long Chen bowed slightly. Just as he turned to leave, Elder Shah opened his mouth once more, let alone the entire Martial Heaven continent. Just attempting to stand out within the Zhuanshan Dao sect will be very difficult. If you want to contend for supremacy within the entire continent, you should first set yourself up in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. A complicated expression appeared in Elder Shah's eyes, and he couldn't help but give Long Chen a final warning. Long Chen was startled. Elder Shah didn't like to speak. He hadn't revealed his cultivation base, and he always appeared like a wooden old man. But Long Chen's intuition told him his power was terrifying. Many thanks for seniors pointers, said Long Chen humbly. It wasn't anything important. Once you arrive at the Zhuanshan Dao sect, you'll understand that even if you can dominate the other four regions, you still won't have any superiority amongst the Central Plains heavenly geniuses. To sum it up, avoid pride and impatience, avoiding showing off your sharp point, be more evasive and sly, and your journey will be easier, said Elder Shah. Disciple understands. Many thanks. Long Chen bowed. Although Elder Shah was being subtle, his meaning was obvious. Long Chen might be the top amongst the disciples from the eastern wasteland, western desert, southern sea, and northern source, but compared to the geniuses from the central plains, his foundation was lacking. He was losing right at the starting line. In truth, the reason why the Zhuanshan Dao sect had established branch sects in the four outer regions wasn't because they had many hopes for the disciples raised there. To put it frankly, the four outer regions' disciples were nothing more than cannon fodder. Fireflies to show off the brightness of the moon. Elder Shah was warning him kind-heartedly. He had lived for a long time, and he had seen batch after batch of disciples who had gone to the central plains full of hope and passion, only to be given grievous blows from reality. He had seen countless promising geniuses fall one by one. Now he was almost numb to it. It was precisely because he was numb that he didn't have much interest in things anymore. He just did his job, following the rules. Rather than aiming for the best possible result, he just avoided making mistakes. Unfortunately, disciples' stubbornness is something you've seen. No one can change me, not even the heavens. Others might find me foolish, but I am not a fish, so I don't know a fish's pleasure. In the same way, others are not me. What I want is to skyrocket, to be the content that breaks through the restrictions of the heavens. Even if I fail, I won't mind. If I didn't have those gods, living wouldn't have any meaning. However, disciple appreciates elder's kindness. If I have a chance, I will definitely return the favor, said Long Chen. Each person could have their own principles, and all those principles might sound right, but they might not suit you. As an expert, you needed to find your own belief, a truth that you believed in the most, a truth that wouldn't change after 10,000 years, a truth that wouldn't change in life or death. Long Chen's belief was that in his life, he had to go all out. From the day he had cultivated the nine-star hegemon body art, it was fated that he could not walk the ordinary path. Since he was different from others, why bother taking on their principles? Seeing that Long Chen's thoughts weren't affected at all despite his words, Elder Shah shook his head slightly and remained silent. Heavens, this many seventh rank sea demons. Suddenly, a startled cry rang out. Countless powerful auras rapidly approached the flying boat Novaloon.com they'd finally been baited. Long Chen smiled. Returning to the deck of the boat, he stood with everyone else. Huge waves surged in the sea below. Chapter 977 Stunning Attack Translator Born to be countless sea demons surged over from all directions, and over half of them were seventh rank sea demons. Brothers, the food has come. Hurry and kill them, shouted Wang Mang. Seeing this many seventh rank sea demons delighted Wang Mang. He thought of his conversation with Long Chen, and seeing his indifferent expression. He knew that these sea demons had something to do with him. Seventh rank sea demons were equivalent to normal sea expansion cultivators. The dragon blood warriors could kill them easily, and even the eastern wasteland's disciples were able to kill them without much trouble. With Long Chen's orders, the senior disciples were only in charge of extracting the Nidans, which was extremely simple for them. This way, not even one Nidan would be wasted, although only a portion of the dragon blood warriors were participating. Their terrifying killing power rapidly dyed the sea red. With all the seventh rank sea demons being killed, Long Chen asked Wild if he wanted them. After all, these sea demons were extremely ugly and strange. No human would want to eat them. But Wild didn't care about that. He said that as long as it was edible, he wanted it. 
Long Chen had everyone gather the seventh rank sea demon's corpses when they weren't busy extracting needons. Wild wasn't picky about food, so this was an excellent chance to gather rations. As time passed, more and more seventh rank sea demons appeared. Were rich. Wang Mang and the others were ecstatic. They had participated in the hunt last time, but they hadn't encountered this many seventh rank sea demons back then. In just a few hours, they had gathered more needons than what they had had over three days back then. This profit made them almost go crazy. As more sea demons appeared, it became harder for everyone. More and more dragonblood warriors joined in. Elder Shaw frowned slightly as he looked at this unending tide of sea demons. He was curious. He had never seen this many seventh rank sea demons being drawn over during a hunt. Suddenly, a roar rang out. A terrifying pressure caused everyone's hearts to shake. Eighth rank sea demon, Wang Mang and the others were startled, and they hastily formed a formation. A huge figure appeared within the sea and flew into the air. It was a fish with two wings. This three mile long fish covered the sun with its wings. Its mouth opened and water arrows rained down on them. Those dark green water arrows whistled over with a space tearing noise, and they released a nauseating scent. They were clearly poisonous and shouldn't be touched. Collective shield, with Wang Mang, the one with the most experience, in the center of the formation, all the senior disciples formed hand seals. Light barriers manifested, covering everyone. Those light barriers were rapidly blown apart one by one, but in the end, half of them endured. The water arrows were unable to menace them. When the water arrows fell to the sea, quite a few sea demons were struck and their bodies began to emit smoke. The spots struck by the water arrows corroded. What a terrifying attack! exclaimed someone. If these water arrows had landed on them, they would have probably been corroded into a skeleton. Although Wang Mang hadn't fought sea demons on the sea before, he had participated in many battles and had plentiful battle experience. Otherwise, even if he had bribed people, he wouldn't have been able to be able to become the leading disciple of this mission. Everyone, this is a powerful 8th rank sea demon. We have to work together to handle it. Listen to my directions. First, we just as he was shouting, a sword image soared into the sky, shaking heaven and earth. It was stunningly beautiful, and like a flash of light, it disappeared in an instant. That huge winged sea demon was cut in half. Blood filled the air and it fell to the sea. Yu Zifeng sheathed his sword. That attack had been from him. Beautiful. Long Chen was the first to praise him. Yu Zifeng was getting stronger and stronger. It seemed Ling Yunzi had given him some pointers, and now that his heavenly Dao energy had been erased, he was even more terrifying. That sword seemed to fill the entire world. It was like there was some invisible power behind it that made it unstoppable. Capable of slicing apart heaven and earth. Yu Zifeng was originally a genius of the sword Dao, but through Ling Yunzi's guidance, his comprehension of it had grown even greater. That attack had been full of the specific terror of sword cultivators. Even Elder Shah's expression changed. He hadn't noticed Yu Zifeng before this. Yu Zifeng wasn't very eye-catching, but once he attacked, he instantly killed an 8th rank sea demon, and so easily at that, that made Elder Shari evaluate Long Chen. Someone with Yu Zifeng's power wouldn't be drowned out even within all the geniuses of the Zhuanshan Dao sect but such a figure was actually willing to follow Long Chen. Quick, grab the corpse. Wang Mang and the others were too stunned to react at first. The sea demon's corpse smashed into the sea, causing huge waves. They hastily used magical arts to gather the two halves of its corpse. Looking at the flat and smooth cut, they sucked in a cold gasp. Yu Zifeng's attack was refined to the point that it was unbelievable. The wound was completely straight as if drawn with a ruler, and it was right in the middle. The two halves were the same, and even its bones, which were comparable to treasure items, had been cut cleanly. Such a terrifying attack shocked them. Don't just stare. Another one's coming, said Long Chen. Just at this moment, the sea surged. A huge figure rapidly grew under the water. Die. Gu Yang shouted and his spear unleashed a mile-long spear image that stabbed into the water. A huge body flew into the air. It was also an eighth rank sea demon. Its head had been pierced by Gu Yang and it was dead. Only once they saw the corpse flying toward the boat did everyone react and dodge. The flying boat was bigger on the inside than the outside. So no matter how big the sea demon was, it would fit. Ridiculous. Wang Mang and the others were stunned. Eighth rank sea demons were overlords of the sea in places like this. Even foundation forging experts would have to go all out to kill them, and there was a chance of being heavily injured in the process or even dying. But Yu Zifeng and Gu Yang each killed them with one blow, and a seemingly simple blow at that. Eighth rank sea demons were not things that seventh rank sea demons could compare to. 
Even their corpses were valuable. However, their Nedans were still much, much more valuable. To gain two eighth rank Nedans made the senior disciples almost start dancing. Wild was also close to dancing with joy. Long Chen had said that all the sea demons' corpses would be his. He felt blessed. It seemed he wouldn't have to worry about getting hungry in the future, and he had an urge to start eating right now. Another eighth rank sea demon shouted someone, but this sea demon wasn't coming at them from the front, but charging out from right below the flying boat. The flying boat was knocked into the air, and countless people were thrown off and forced to hastily summon wings. With the flying boat knocked into the air, Elder Shaw decided to keep it floating. That would make it more convenient when the battle started. Someone, go out as bait, said Long Chen. Fighting on the flying boat truly wasn't convenient. Let me. Guo Ran was the first to fly out and stopped about a mile from the surface of the water. He had only just paused when a huge mouth devoured him, causing Wang Mang and the others to let out startled cries. This show off. Long Chen was speechless. Even now, he was pursuing his goals. The startled cries were cut short as the 8th rank sea demon's head exploded and a golden armored freak appeared. I swept through the four seas, crossed a thousand mountains, caused huge billows in heaven and earth, slaughtered demons, eliminated devils, plucked the stars and moon. If you want a chivalrous hero, you can come find me, Guo Ran. If you want to eat me, then we'll have to see if you have the teeth for that, said Guo Ran flashily. Long Chen Fasipalmed, would this fellow die if he didn't show off for a day? There weren't that many outsiders here. So what was the point? It made others feel embarrassed for him. Everyone prepare yourself. More and more sea demons are coming. So far, all we've had is the appetizer. And the full course is coming now. Long Chen could sense countless powerful auras rushing over. Guo Ran. Gu Yang. Wild. You'll fight at the front lines and draw the sea demon's attention. Men Qi. Wan Er. Ziffeng. You'll launch long distance attacks as support. Wang Mang. You're in charge of gathering the corpses and needons. When you're busy, make sure to focus on the big targets. Don't drop the melons because you're trying to pick up sesame seeds. As for the others, spread out. Squad leaders, you're in charge of any fish that slip through the net. Those not given a task, help Wang Man gather the needons. Remember, we don't care about corpses below the 8th rank. Guo Ran, Gu Yang, and Wild stood at the front. Guo Ran should have been placed at the back for support but he liked to show off, so Long Chen let him. The dragon blood warriors quickly spread out, finding the best spots for themselves. They didn't need any direction for that, as after so many life and death battles, they had long since come to a tacit understanding. As for Wang Mang and the others, they were also highly experienced. They quickly found their own positions in accordance with the dragon blood warriors. As for the eastern wasteland's disciples, they were clearly not so organized. They didn't even know where to put themselves. Boom. Suddenly, explosions came from the sea. Huge figures charged out, each one of them as big as a mountain and releasing powerful pressures. Chapter 978 Blood Dies The Blue Sea Translator Born to be there here, Wang Mang and the others were a bit nervous. Although they were foundation forging experts, they hadn't experienced a battle of this scope. There were over 10 8th rank sea demons charging at them. However, Long Chen stood indifferently with his hands clasped behind his back. Each one of the dragon blood warriors had similarly relaxed postures. They didn't show any nervousness, because they had all experienced even more nerve-wracking battles than this. This little scuffle was nothing. The surface of the water exploded as huge figures charged at them. The first ones they charged at were Gu Yang and the others, as they were the closest. However, because 8th rank sea demons were so huge, despite the three of them having spread out, a few of them charged higher, going directly at Men Qi and the others. Kill, Guo Ran shouted, and with a wave of his hand, three house-sized spheres flew into the open mouths around him. Their mouths were huge, so no matter how he tossed them, he wouldn't miss. These were his powerful bombs. As his cultivation base grew, his forging efficiency also increased, so it was no longer so painful to toss out his treasures. These cold-blooded sea demons had very low intelligence. Without even understanding what was going on, the bombs exploded in their mouths, causing their heads to explode. Guo Ran killed three eighth rank sea demons in an instant. Although it was a bit lucky, this efficiency was shocking. Gu Yang had also erupted with his full power. Powerful blood key soared from him, and his spear danced. He killed one in the first instant as well. As for Wild, he had summoned the barbarian blood bronze body. With a single smash of his hammer, he blew a sea demon to smithereens. His power caused the sea demon to explode along with its needon. 
Wild. Pay more attention. If you hit them like this, you won't get anything. Long Chen was speechless. When would this fellow grow some brains? If he fought this way, its Needon and corpse would be gone. What was the point of this? Oh, what should I do? Grumbled Wild. Go gently. Just hit its head. I'd rather you beat it half dead than make it explode, said Long Chen. Wild's intelligence almost seemed to shrink as he grew stronger. He couldn't even figure out something like this. All right, I'll listen to Brother Long, said Wild. It just so happened that an eighth rank sea demon was coming for him, and he once more smashed his club down. Blood mist filled the air. Once again, there was nothing left. Wild was dumbfounded. Long Chen almost coughed up blood. The difficulty in having Wild control his power was heaven defying. Long Chen directly gave up and let him do whatever he wanted. Wild's brute power was appalling. Even Elder Shaw was shocked. As the battle unfolded, his shock only grew. Wild, Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, and all the others were displaying shocking combat power. That was especially true of Wild. His club clearly landed on the sea demons' heads, but it caused their entire bodies to explode. Even their incredibly tough needons exploded with them. This was a strange power that Elder Shaw had never witnessed before. Wang Mang and the others were first incomparably shocked that Wild had such power, but then they became incomparably distressed. With each smash of his club, another eighth rank Needon disappeared. They decided to do their best not to look over at Wild, as watching was too painful. Runes circulated around them, transforming into huge hands that constantly gathered the slain eighth rank sea demons. They didn't need to participate in the actual battle, using their refined control over powerful magical arts. They were extremely adept at gathering the slain sea demons. With 36 of them working together, they barely missed any at all. Originally, they had been a group of 37, but one of them had been tossed out into the eastern wasteland by Elder Shaw for saying something was unfair. At the front, Gu Yang, Gu Aran, and Wild were drawing most of the sea demons. Other sea demons managed to get by them, but the majority of them were 7th rank, and killing them was extremely easy. The occasional 8th rank sea demons that got by would be instantly killed by a few squad leaders working together. Everything went extremely smoothly. Men Qi and Tang Wan Er didn't even need to do anything. Long Chen had them look after the group. But right now, no one needed their help. The panicked Eastern Wasteland disciples also began to calm down upon seeing the Dragonblood Legion handle this many sea demons. They found their own positions, occasionally launching an attack. If they didn't have a chance to attack, they used magical arts to help gather corpses. As time went by, the sea demons did not drop in number. Instead, more and more of them appeared, and they only grew stronger. In the beginning, their cultivation bases were only at the early 8th rank, but now mid-8th rank sea demons were appearing. When they appeared, Wild became ecstatic. That was because he found that when he smashed a mid-8th rank sea demon, at least some of their body would survive. Their needons were also intact. Wang Mang had been delighted at first to see this many sea demons. They were truly getting rich. But as more 8th rank sea demons appeared, they gradually became afraid. They had killed over a hundred 8th rank sea demons, and it was starting to be too much. As more and more 8th rank sea demons showed up, they didn't even have time to gather the 7th rank sea demons' needons, letting them fall into the sea. The sea was dyed red by the blood of the sea demons. Some corpses sank to the bottom, while some floated on the surface of the water looking like floating islands, as well as huge burial mounds. Currently, thousands of miles of the sea was dyed red, and countless sea demons were crazily charging forward. Furthermore, their numbers and power only grew. Wang Mang felt a chill, but when he stealthily glanced at Long Chen, he saw that his expression was still calm, as if this intense battle before him was nothing more than a game that he didn't care about. Wang Mang took a deep breath and thanked his luck that he had acted pragmatically. He hadn't fought against Long Chen to the point of you die or I die. Thinking of that, he patted himself on the back for being wise. Long Chen hadn't shown off any shocking attacks. But Gu Yang, Gu Aran, Yu Zifeng, Wild, and the others were each more shocking than the last. From all this, Wang Mang could tell that Long Chen had to be more terrifying than he imagined. Wang Mang, don't get distracted. You've already lost an 8th rank Needon, called Long Chen. Oh, sorry. Wang Mang's runic hand had been destroyed by a sea demon, and as a result, an eighth rank sea demon's corpse fell into the sea. Lost. Don't be so worried. This is just the opening scene. Once you're accustomed, you'll be fine. Everyone further back, there's no need for you to attack. You should all focus on gathering the corpses. Dragonblood warriors, 
there's no need to hold back any longer. We've pretty much drawn them all over. So the moment's almost here, said Long Chen. The opening scene. Wang Mang and the others involuntarily shivered. This kind of terrifying battle was just the start? Then what was the main act? Kill. Kill to your heart's content. The dragon blood warriors roared. Going all out to slaughter the sea demons. The current sea demons were growing stronger. And even late 8th rank ones began to appear. The dragon blood warriors were starting to find things difficult. They all activated their spirit blood. Each of them crazily attacking. And treasure items flew through the air. Along with scarlet blood. With their spirit blood and treasure items. The 8th rank sea demons were rapidly cut down by them. Their corpses tumbled down. Wang Mang and the others were red-eyed. They no longer had time to care about 7th rank sea demons anymore. They had to focus completely on gathering the 8th rank corpses. There were too many. So even Wang Mang and the other foundation forging disciples found gathering them taxing. Even with the help of the Eastern Wastelands disciples. Quite a few corpses fell to the bottom of the sea. Once the corpses fell into the sea. There was no way to bring them out. The heavenly Dao runes that they had condensed into hands could enter the water. But it would exhaust too much of their spiritual yuan. Seeing those corpses falling into the ocean. Wang Mang and the others were filled with pain. But they were helpless. They could only do everything they could to gather the slain 8th rank sea demons. As the dragon blood warriors erupted with power. The number of sea demons didn't drop. But all the sea demons were 8th rank ones now. They were like a tide. Crazily charging forward. The dragon blood warriors also seemed to have gone crazy. Each one of them was like a killing god. Mercilessly slaughtering the sea demons. Toward the end. Wang Mang and the others were terrified by just looking at them. The dragon blood warriors seemed like bloodthirsty fiends. Completely different people from the ones who had chatted with them. They were merciless and cold. Their killing intent causing their souls to tremble. This was the dragon blood warriors strongest state. That killing intent was something piled up from countless experts bones. The number of sea demons continued to increase. In the end, their corpses were piled up like mountains on the sea. This shocking scene shook even Elder Shaw. He was deeply shocked by what he was seeing. Careful. Suddenly, a huge crab-like sea demon charged in front of a dragon blood warrior. It was a late 8th rank sea demon. And because it was covered in tough armor, it had managed to break through their defenses. Its claw smashed toward the dragon blood warrior, causing the others to let out startled cries. The dragon blood warrior had only just forced back another sea demon, and there was no one around who could help him. Split the heavens. A blood red light slashed down, killing the sea demon. Chapter 979 9th rank sea demon translator. Born to be the saber image slashed down, killing the heavily armored sea demon. Boss. The dragon blood warriors cheered. As soon as Long Chen joined in, he killed a late 8th rank sea demon. That sea demon's defense had been too powerful. With no weak points at all. Once it had charged into the dragon blood warriors midst. It had ruined their formations. Even Gu Yang had been blown back by one of its pincers. How can he use the heaven splitting battle sect secret technique? Elder Sha instantly saw through the origin of Long Chen's move. That's about enough. Men Qi. Wind things up. Said Long Chen. Men Qi nodded and extended her hands. Forming hand seals. She summoned her soul energy. Soul extermination life devouring art. A terrifying spiritual fluctuation spread, instantly covering the entire battlefield. The world seemed to come to a stop. This soul extermination life devouring art was something she had used once before in the immemorial path. But at that time, she had been using it on fellow humans, and she hadn't used it to its full power. This time, she was using it on the berserk and cold-blooded sea demons. She had no misjivings, and she directly used up over half her spiritual strength to increase its power and range. The invisible ripple caused even the people behind Men Qi to shiver. Wang Mang and the others felt like their souls were within a terrifying spiritual hand. As long as she wished it, their souls would be destroyed. Now Wang Mang realized how terrifying Men Qi was. This soul energy was beyond all his expectations. Even with the underworld soul magical armor, he wouldn't be able to block this attack. Thinking of that, cold sweat covered his back. Those fierce sea demons stiffened. They lost their ability to think for a short moment. Men Qi's soul art was terrifying, but due to spreading it over such a huge area, its power was scattered. It didn't have the power to kill such powerful 8th rank sea demons. Wind Moon devours the heavens. Tang Wanner's runes circulated, and millions of palm-sized wind blades shot out. This sea of wind blades rapidly spread, releasing ear-piercing sounds that pained people's eardrums. It felt like millions of needles were stabbing them. 
and other than the Dragonblood warriors, everyone's expressions changed. They had never seen such terrifying wind blades. This sea of wind blades instantly reached the army of sea demons. Like sharp blades cutting through tofu, the powerful 8th rank sea demons were instantly killed. Hundreds of 8th rank sea demons were killed by Menki and Tang Wan'er's combination attack. Countless corpses piled up into a mountain, slowly dropping toward the sea. Heaven and earth were deathly silent. Only after a breath's time did Wang Mang and the others hastily order everyone to gather the corpses. Those were money. Before they sank into the sea, they grabbed as many as they could. This attack was too terrifying. All the sea demons had been killed, and they were able to descend closer to the sea to gather the corpses without worrying about being attacked. Hurry, we should leave quickly, said Elder Shaw. Everyone hastily cleaned up the battlefield, but it was just too big. Some of the senior disciples were too greedy to even toss aside the 7th and 6th rank sea demons. Elder Shaw frowned, but he also felt leaving behind this many sea demon corpses would be a waste. So he simply waited. Long Chen, what are you smiling about? Why is your smile so evil? Tang Wan'er looked at Long Chen. Was I smiling? Long Chen shook his head. You might be able to trick others, but you can't trick me. Speak. What evil plot are you brewing? Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen, raising a fist. You're overthinking it. I don't have so many evil thoughts. Well, the battlefield's about cleaned up, so we should return. Don't you see Elder Shaw's face is starting to darken? Don't get scolded. Long Chen pulled Men Qi and Tang Wan'er back to the flying boat. Tang Wan'er understood Long Chen too well. Seeing that smile on his face, she knew he was up to something. But if he refused to say, there was nothing she could do. There were too many people, so she was too embarrassed to beat him. She sneaked an arm around his waist and viciously pinched him, but she was unable to. This evil fellow had been prepared and had flexed his muscles. Tang Wan'er ground her teeth furiously, but she couldn't do anything. Has everyone gathered? Asked Elder Shaw. Reporting to Elder, we've all come. Answered Wang Mang hastily. Even now, they all felt like they were in a dream. Their gains were too shocking. If everyone split things evenly. Wang Mang estimated that even if he worked for two centuries as an outer disciple, he wouldn't be able to gather so much. Elder Shaw nodded and controlled the flying boat. A barrier of light appeared over it, and it sped away. At this moment, Long Chen extended his arms and wrapped them around Men Qi and Tang Wan'er's waists. They both blushed, not expecting Long Chen to be so brazen. Scoundrel, release me. There are so many people here, whispered Tang Wan'er. Careful, suddenly. Elder Shaw's expression changed. Boom. The flying boat shook violently and flipped through the air. The people inside smashed against the barrier. Some vomited blood and some even fainted. What's going on? Wang Mang and the others were dizzy from the impact. Only Long Chen had long since been prepared. His feet had been like nails in the ground. Even Men Qi and Tang Wan'er weren't affected. Long Chen, you, said Men Qi. I don't know anything. What just happened? Asked a dumbfounded Long Chen. Everyone. Be careful. It's a ninth rank sea demon, shouted Elder Shaw. Boom. The flying boat once more flipped. A mile long tentacle had sent it flying, but this time everyone was prepared and was circulating their spiritual yuan in defense, as well as tightly holding onto the flying boat, but they still felt like their organs were flipping within them. Damn, it's even more amazing than I had thought. Long Chen sighed emotionally inside as he looked at that huge tentacle. You scoundrel, as expected, you knew all along said Tang Wan'er, being held by Long Chen. Most of the force was blunted by him, so she and Men Qi didn't feel much. They both realized this was definitely something caused by Long Chen. He had probably known all along that they would draw over a ninth rank sea demon. SHH. Long Chen made a keep quiet gesture, stealthily pointing to Elder Shaw. Men Qi and Tang Wan'er were speechless. Long Chen was too evil, intentionally causing trouble for Elder Shaw. And Elder Shaw was truly unlucky to run into an evil person like Long Chen. Everyone looked at that tentacle with shock. It suddenly curled and wrapped around the flying boat, making it so it couldn't move. Everyone felt themselves sink. Crap, it's dragging us into the sea. Wang Mang and the others were terrified. They hadn't even seen the form of the ninth rank sea demon. Just its huge tentacle was able to cause so much trouble. Brood, are you looking down on me? Elder Shaw was finally infuriated. Countless runes lit up on the flying boat, and flying swords shot out at the huge tentacle. That tentacle was sliced apart by countless sharp runic blades. The flying boat escaped its clutches and flew away. Suddenly, the surface of the water rapidly rose. A colossal figure showed up in front of the boat. 
blocking even the sun. Heavens, what kind of monster is this? How is it so huge? Everyone was horrified. This sea demon was so huge that even the flying boat looked like a toy in comparison. Long Chen managed to see it clearly. It was like an octopus, but it didn't have eight tentacles. Instead, it had hundreds of them. Black, sticky liquid covered its body. It spread its tentacles, blocking the path of the flying boat. This is a ninth rank sea demon? What a terrifying aura, said Guo Ran with shock. Although they were on the flying boat and had a protective formation, the aura of the ninth rank sea demon still caused them to shiver. In front of this ninth rank sea demon, they seemed as minuscule as ants. Something this big can be eaten for a long time. Wilde was drooling as he looked at the huge sea demon. He had never seen such huge rations. Wang Mang and the others almost coughed up blood. Was the only thing on his mind food? They were the ones about to be eaten Noveloon.com Long Chen. Don't you think this is a bit too much? Said Men Ki worriedly. It's fine. With Elder Sha present, this ninth rank sea demon should just be the appetizer Long Chen shook his head. He had been relaxed from the start precisely because of his confidence in Elder Sha. Elder Sha was just about to control the flying boat to retreat when the ninth rank sea demon formed a huge net around them with its tentacles. Although it was huge, its speed was shockingly fast. Its tentacles instantly bound the flying boat and pulled them toward it. Heavens, what a terrifying mouth, cried Tang Wanur. The sea demon had opened its mountain-sized mouth. It was filled with teeth that shone with a sharp, cold light. We're going to be eaten. Wang Mang felt despair. Brood, you're asking for it. Elder Sha snorted. It was unknown what he did, but the flying boat suddenly trembled. A huge cannon appeared on the prow. Die, shouted Elder Sha. The flying boat shook intensely and a huge ray of light shot toward the ninth rank sea demon's mouth. Chapter 980 Now its troublesome translator, born to be the light engulfed the entire sky, causing it to shake as if the air was about to explode. This attack was one of the flying boat's trump cards. Since the Zhuangshan Dao sect dared to bring tens of thousands of disciples through the martial heaven sea ring, how could it not have a few tricks? Long Chen had only dared to use the medicinal pill because he had seen through this point. He hadn't expected his luck to be this good. His medicinal pill had actually managed to draw over a ninth rank sea demon. The light unleashed by the flying boat's cannon tore through the sea demon's head. It was instantly killed. After killing the sea demon, Elder Shaw immediately controlled the flying boat to gather the sea demon's corpse. Haha, <laughs> amazing. A ninth rank Needon has fallen into our hands, laughed Long Chen. The ninth rank sea demon's corpse was too huge. Despite being a corpse, it gave off a sense of pressure that made it hard for them to breathe. Wang Mang and the others impatiently charged their way into the corpse through the injury. They quickly came out. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Here. A ninth rank Needon is a priceless treasure. Wang Mang ignored the blood and gore on it and handed over a fist-sized sphere to Long Chen. The sphere had runes within it, making it seem like it was alive. It continued to release a powerful pressure. This was where the ninth rank sea demon's essence was gathered. It contained boundless energy. Long Chen received it. Men Qi exclaimed. What powerful water energy fluctuations. And they're so pure. It just so happens that we have a few water attribute warriors in the Dragon Blood Legion. After refining the 10,000 spirit blood, there were seven people that awakened rare water attribute runes. Their combat power had leaked a great deal. I will be keeping this ninth rank need and as I have a few brothers who need it. But I won't let you lose out. As compensation. All the Needons of the Dragonblood Legion will be yours, said Long Chen. We can't accept that. Don't look down on us. Without you, it would have been impressive for each of us to get a dozen sixth rank Needons. You must take the ninth rank Needon. The amount of profit we've gotten now is enough for us to cultivate for a century without worry. Truly, we know when to be satisfied, said Wang Mang. It was under Long Chen's lead that they had gathered close to a thousand eighth rank Needons. As for seventh rank Needon, they numbered over 13,000, and there were too many 6th rank Needons to even count, but it was definitely over a 100,000. Once they split that equally, the resources they would obtain were enough for them to cultivate for a 100 years without running out of resources. They truly did have enough. Senior Apprentice Brother Long Chen, leave us some face. Without you, we wouldn't have gotten anything like this. We've already benefited greatly, so we can't be more greedy, said another disciple. Without the Dragonblood Legion, they'd have long since fled in the face of the terrifying army of sea demons. It was all thanks to the Dragonblood Legion. Seeing their sincere expressions, Long Chen didn't push them. Cupping his fists, he said, Then I'll thank everyone. 
Long Chen tossed the ninth rank Needon to one of the water attribute Dragon Blood Warriors. They could absorb the water essence inside to increase the level of their water energy once more. However, the amount of energy inside it was too berserk, and they would need a long amount of time to withdraw that energy. This big fish is mine. I can eat it for a long time. Wild directly put away the huge ninth rank sea demon's corpse. He was even more excited than those fellows who had obtained the Needons. Boom. Suddenly, the sky darkened. A fierce storm containing water key filled the sky. Damn. This time I might have gone a bit too far. Long Chen hastily looked out and saw four huge figures blocking the sun. They were four ninth rank sea demons, charging over and surrounding the flying boat. Wang Mang and the others turned pale. The auras of those four sea demons caused them to quiver. Zhuanchen wave. What comforted them was that Elder Sha was still calm. Without the slightest panic, countless runes lit up on the flying boat. A ripple spread through the air. The ripple struck those huge sea demons, sending them flying back over a thousand miles. Everyone cheered. This thing's good. Boss, when we get enough money, I want one. Guo Ran's eye shone as he looked at Elder Sha controlling the flying boat. He was filled with envy. Why bother? This kind of huge flying boat isn't something we can buy with our current wealth. Long Chen knew that this kind of flying boat containing both great offensive and defensive properties had to have a price that could frighten people to death. Furthermore, even if they could buy one, they wouldn't necessarily be able to use it. Long Chen had stealthily investigated it and found that on the bottom levels of the flying boat, there was a sealed space. Although he wasn't able to go inside, he could sense endless spiritual key in it. The inside had to be packed full of spirit stones, and high-grade ones at that. Whether used for offense or defense, this flying boat had to exhaust an ocean's worth of high-grade spirit stones. Long Chen wouldn't waste his money on such a thing, so he'd rather Guo Ran give up on that thought. Elder Sha had only just sent those four sea demons flying when he drove the flying boat away. But this time, the flying boat's speed wasn't very high. It needed more time to accelerate, and as a result, the four sea demons quickly caught up. A huge walrus-like sea demon struck the flying boat with its huge tail. Boom. Despite activating its defenses, the flying boat was sent flying into the distance. Everyone's bodies shook, and they almost coughed up blood. Damn broods. Someone, come take my place to control the flying boat. I'll go kill them. After saying that, Elder Shaw surprisingly left the flying boat, going out on his own to fight those four sea demons. Everyone was stunned. Wang Mang stuttered, but none of us know how to drive it. Boom. Everyone let out startled cries as the flying boat was once more struck, and some disciples coughed up blood. Although the boat's defenses were active, some of the power behind the sea demon's attack still managed to get through. The weaker disciples were unable to bear it. They were horrified. The difference between 8th rank and 9th rank sea demons was immense. Even Gu Yang and the others felt like they wouldn't be able to receive such a terrifying attack. Let me. Guo Ran jumped onto the control platform. Studying the countless runes and lines in front of him, he tried to figure out how to control it. Does he understand how to? Asked Wang Mang. Don't worry, I guarantee he definitely doesn't know, said Gu Yang. At first, Wang Mang's worries were laid down, but once the sentence was finished, he almost coughed up blood. Big brother, don't joke at this time. Life and death are up to fate. What's the point of being afraid? You'll just feel worse, and in your panic, be unable to make the right decisions. Then your last chance at life will be thrown away, said Gu Yang indifferently. Wang Mang was stunned. Only now did he see that while the dragon blood warriors were startled, their expressions didn't contain the slightest fear or panic. Haha, <laughs> this should be the divine dragon tail spin, exclaimed Guo Ran suddenly, full of excitement. He slammed his hand on a button. At this time, the attack from a ninth rank sea demon was coming right at them. Once Guo Ran pushed the button, a huge tail appeared at the end of the flying boat. That tail was like a dragon's tail and was formed of countless runes. And after pressing the button, the flying boat began to rapidly revolve. The huge tail swung like a whip, striking the sea demon. Nice. Guo Ran was delighted. This kind of feeling was amazing. But after sending the sea demon flying, he was unable to stop the flying boat. It continued to rapidly spin, forming a whirlpool in the air. Hurry and stop it. We, we, people began to puke. This kind of high-speed spinning was something even the senior disciples found unbearable. I, I don't know how to stop it. Guo Ran held onto the chair in the control platform. He had lost control of the boat. It was unknown what happened eventually. But as Guo Ran wildly spun through the air, 
he ended up kicking a mechanism, and the flying boat slowly stopped spinning. Oh, so the button on top was the one to activate it, and the one below was to stop it, said Guo Ran. He finally understood the control mechanism. Long Chen held on to Men Qi and Tang Wan Er. Although the two weren't injured, their heads were dizzy from being flung around. Men Qi was especially pale since she was a soul cultivator. Guo Ran, are you capable of this or not? Scolded Long Chen upon seeing Men Qi suffering. Don't worry, this time I'll definitely be able to control it. Guo Ran carefully studied the various lines on the control panel. His understanding of some of those immortal characters wasn't very good, but through the layout and patterns, he was able to guess some things. Careful, another one's coming, shouted someone. Another ninth rank C demon was coming from behind. Just watch. Guo Ran smashed his hand on the control panel. The stern of the boat opened, revealing a mirror. Countless lines lit up on it. There were thousands of spirit stones embedded on its back, and they were all high-grade spirit stones. At the center of the mirror, there was an especially radiant spirit stone. It was actually an exceedingly rare top-grade spirit stone. The mirror unleashed waves of light. A huge arrow appeared on it, shooting at the ninth rank sea demon. The instant the arrow appeared, all the spirit stones on the back of the mirror turned dark, cracked, and shattered. As expected, it's a money-burning toy. Long Chen and Guo Ran both saw that clearly. This was something only a rich person could use. The sea beast was unlucky. Its head was right at the boat's stern and as a result, the arrow pierced its head, causing it to explode. Before anyone could cheer for Guo Ran, a figure appeared within the flying boat and pushed Guo Ran aside, controlling the flying boat to flee. Big trouble. We're running. 